गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून डिपेंडिंग ऑन वे यू आर एंड यू आर वेलकम टू दिस प्रोग्राम इफ यू आर जॉइनिंग शेयर दिस वीडियो इन्वाइट अदर्स टू जॉइन If you are joining share the video invite others to join let's confirm that we are indeed online before we proceed with this gospel of Elohim Chukwokikabiama who lives in heaven while you are joining us invite others to join share the video share the video invite others to join we are live and direct we are live on YouTube A judge money block Africa. We are live on Facebook platforms. We are live in many Facebook platforms. So when you join us, share the video, invite other people to join. And if you are watching from YouTube, subscribe to that page and hit the notification bell in order to get notification each time we come around. because today we are going to be exposing you know the excitement of the chief infiltrators and his lies that he's been telling his gullible followers you know that these days we only come to come around when we see it necessary because we need to continue to debunk the lies to debunk the lies of the enemy the lies that they are using to manipulate and exploit our people and i want to be i want to tell you today i do not have any issue or personal issue with anybody who is agitating for biafra outside ipob i want to make it clear to you i do not have any personal issue with the chief infiltrator I do not have any personal issues with the chief infiltrator. The only problem I have is anybody who will be claiming that they are fighting for our freedom while they are using the opportunity to exploit our people. That is the only problem I have with this shenanigan that people in the autopilot and the chief is presenting to the world other than that i do not have problem so i want you to understand that what i am here to do this evening it is to show you again the way he will present a lies and the way he will pre be presenting you with the lies when it comes to where you will grab the information of lies he will twist it and he will name it something else because we continue to follow the enemies because what we are doing we are fighting a just cause and in this cause so many have fallen so many are still going to fall and we do not pray that the lord will fall because we know that people will fall in order for us to get this freedom they are going to their you know their their their, their sacrifice we can never allow to go down the drain or we can never allow the enemy to come and reap from whatever they have sowed and what they have sowed that took away their lives and the enemy want to manipulate in order to reap from where they did not sow and if you think about it that is been the you know the 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 activities of these autopilot infiltrators what they support, what they continue doing is to continue lying to people telling you lies all the time making sure that they redirect the narrative of the struggle and we cannot allow that to happen that is the reason why we are up and running exposing their atrocities and their activities and that is exactly what i am also here to do and i have learned that once we done with their exposition they will go and report those videos that's what they are doing right now they will report the video 
because they now registering their video as a copy is it a copyright they will go and claim the copyright in the video that we are using to expose them but that is not a problem because we are not bloggers what we are we will continue to expose the enemy regardless of how they present it we will continue to expose them so share the video allow others to join let us go there immediately because we i don't want to take much of your time i wouldn't want to take much of your time so we are going to go straight to the business of the day and we are also going to be having interactive section so i will present uh our number whatsapp call on the screen so when we are done with this exposition we will take some few calls before we call it a day now let us go to that exposition immediately listen attentively we are going to be sharing a screen sensitive position must be handed over to the person so starting from nigeria they want the president to be muslim they want the vice president to be muslim they want every strategic positions in nigeria no i think we are the wrong video we are at the wrong video we are going to be talking about this one or should we start from there okay let us start from here we're going to start from here Pay attention. We are going to take our freedom by force in 2023. <laughs> what we are doing is... What you are seeing here right now is the excitement because the leadership of IPOB you generally know as the DOS, the HOD, mentioned his name last night in his last night exposition. That is the reason why he became so excited and he said a whole bunch of things in this video. You know, those things that he said, I just want you to listen to it and what I want you to grab from it, because this is not actually the one that I want to use for exposition, but I am just building a preamble. When you listen to all the things that he said here, you will understand that he is somebody who just, you know, he was like, he was like, wow, which means these people, they were not even, you know, after me. That is the reason why he started what he said here. He was like, hmm. it was like, you know, he became more safe because the, the leadership said that whatever he does, he must account for it. You know, which made him notice that the leadership never had his time all this while. So when you see him dancing, when you see him talking, when you see him trying to act, you know, as if he won, uh, you know, as if he won, you know, some jackpot, you will understand it is because he just learned that the leadership is not even looking forward to dealing with him. That is the reason why you see him dancing, because the, the statement of the leadership 
you know, stated that whatever he does, he will use his head to carry it. Now he told him as a smart criminal that he is, he made him to understand that this leadership, they are not after me for real. They are minding their businesses. So now it will give him a ladder to climb higher, more and more. I want you to look for that. You know, these things that I've told you right now in this video that is right in front of you. Pay very good attention as we play it. What we're going to do today is to continue the exposition from where we stopped yesterday without wasting of time. <laughs> some people say, I've been reading some messages on social media. I've been reading some messages where some people are blabbing, those who have left behind. I want you to understand Nobody can scare us. Nobody can threaten us. Are you paying attention? Nobody can come in between our freedom. We are going to fight this particular freedom of Biafra with a visit. A visit. You know, whenever we do this, know that in our yes, yeah. And that is what he is doing to you guys. The more you look, the less you see. <laughs> Pay attention. We have destroyed the criminals in IPOB. Going forward, going forward, we will be issuing statement in the name of IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra, going forward. If you want to name us autopilot, you are free. If you want to continue to Recognize us as autopilot, you are free, but officially we are indigenous people of Biafra. Now, I want you to understand what he did here. He denied his group autopilot. He denied his group autopilot. Now, let us, let us go back to it. You know, when he started claiming IPOB now, let's go back to it. There is a video. I want to show you, since he is denying autopilot and embracing IPOB, he's claiming that he is now IPOB. Now, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. Let me bring this video into this program. You know, but while I am still sending this video into this program, he will, you will agree. Okay. Let me not actually bring the video. Let me play it from the phone so that it will make the job easy for me. It will make the things easier. Let me play it from the phone. Then it will make it easier for us. Now pay very good attention. Pay attention. This was the time Asare Dokubo threatened every, you know, threatened the IPOB, threatened Mazen Namdekano, saying that he smoked Mazen Namdekano out. Now, let's hear from, you know, the Berima himself. What was his respond, response to Asare Dokubo? We are going to hear it, his response to Asare Dokubo. Now, before we continue, now today, he is now claiming to be the same IPOB. <laughs> Listen, 
What I am showing you here is this. Of course, you can see this. That is his video. Now, if you go to Australian page, you will see this video. But let's go there. No, I am not. I would not say I support. Uh, I did not support in Ambitan. I see myself as a, the history that we all know, it information about the role in his escape. Whatever role I played, it was then one first and the cook. They were the day. Is that the sort of they have no evidence? I would prefer to be. Now, in this video that I'm about to show you, I want you to understand that in this video, it is where he was saying that IPOB was blackmailing Asare Dokubo, that we were blackmailing Asare Dokubo, that IPOB is criminal, that IPOB is this and that. The same this guy who is in front of your screen, who is now denying his group in the name of autopilot and trying to embrace IPOB, which he is not, you know, a member of IPOB. You know, everybody is indigenous people of Biafra. Everybody that is Biafra, that is, you know, from the eastern region of Nigeria is indigenous people of Biafra. But when it comes to this brand name, it is a brand name, those that are seen as the pillar, those that are seen to be in the forefront with the leader, Mazen Namdekano, in the fight for restoration of Biafra. It is gazetted. IPOB we are talking about is not just regular IPOB. The one that is gazetted that the whole world recognizes as those, as the group, who are fighting for the restoration of the dignity of mankind. Now, listen attentively to his response to all the threats and the, everything Asare Dokubo said, which he said against Mazen Namdekano, against IPOB. He even said that every IPOB you found must be killed. Of course, you know today he has created his own militia group, Asare Dokubo, he has created his own militia group, which Fulani is involved. Hausa people is involved. Ijo people is involved. Those are the militia group Asari Dokubo has created today. And all this group, he claimed that they are going to be fighting the Fulani. Or he, he said they are going to be fighting the Fulani. But of course, you know, most of them that they have sent into hinterland to kill our people, most of them we are cut down that is now he is now creating it you ask yourself what is the reason why asare dokubo will wake up and create a militia group while the niger the zoo government who claim that the esn is a terrorist ipob is a terrorist they never ever question asare dokubo because the same Asare Dokubo that Berima was defending, the same Asare Dokubo is working with the same people Berima is working with. Listen attentively. Let's go there. Human flesh. They are roasting human flesh mm -hmm. to eat. Asare Dokubo saying that IPOB is roasting woman's flesh. Um, human flesh, rather. Okay. Remember, Listen. in all this blackmailing, mm -hmm. they had no evidence mm -hmm. against Asari Dokubo of, of uh, being masterminded the kidnap of Masinami. Did you hear that? They have no evidence of Asari Dokubo being masterminded. Remember, Asari Dokubo told you that he smoked him out. That he smoked him out. He came down to defend Asare Dokubo, which means it looks like Asare Dokubo, you deform my hands. That's why, you know, he came to de de defend Asare Dokubo, who already said it with his mouth to say that Mazen Namdekano was smoked out by him. Now pay attention, pay attention. Let's continue. Whatsapp. 
not to be insulting and accusing a man they have no evidence against. Mm -hmm. I kept quiet. Mm -hmm. Everybody was watching it. Mm -hmm. Everybody was watching how they said that Basare was the one who sold the money. Mm -hmm. And even in, in calling him to the phone, he did not have any proof against him. Okay. But let me tell you, autopilot people mm -hmm. that are the real, the real genuine Biafra and the follower of Mazin Abikan. We cannot. I want you to go from A to Z, all the media warriors of autopilot. Mm -hmm. You cannot you cannot see any of them accusing Asari Bukubo. Accusing because there is not evidence. We do with evidence. How will they accuse Asare Dokumbo or Tokumbo? How are they going to accuse Asare Dokumbo? Because Asare Dokumbo, you and all your media warriors, you guys are on the same page. Now, I did not play this from the beginning. I just played the path that he said. Now he said there is no evidence. Even when Asari came and said, that IPOB must be killed, that they are the ones who Opus Odemma is using to cause cannibalism, that IPOB are the ones killing in everywhere, that um, Mazen Namdekan was smoked out by him, that he promised him that he would smoke him out. Now you begin to ask yourself, why is this guy defending and this is not exact video that I am looking for. Actually, if anybody does that, it was not part of us. The person does join up for other part of today. So I challenge you to go to all our media warriors. They don't accuse people without evidence. Before we come to social media, we have evidence. Evidence before we come out. Did you hear that? I hope you heard that. Now let me check this one. Okay, yes. This is the one I'm looking for. Let me bring it to the screen. Because we are going to be taking it one step at a time. We are going to be giving you precept that will be upon precept. Because when we do things, we do it precept upon precept. So that you will understand and as not to punk it up, Barry. You go see a co a pay the key to get a mbo because I had that mbo here. Oh, you to know exactly which angle this guy is coming from. Now, listen to the full video here. So, as a little kubo, the only thing I'm telling you, I'm not come here to attack you, I have not come here to blackmail you because I will not blackmail anybody that have done nothing to me. I will not blackmail you. Your anger, I understand it because it is happening to me. So the same way I am feeling is the same way you are feeling. So I have not come here to attack Asari Dukubo. Tell Asari Dukubo the first time in the history of this struggle that I have come and addressed his concern and I did not attack him. And let him not attack autopilot. Tell him that autopilot are not the one that attacking him. Tell him that any day he want to address these people, he should address them properly. Address them like illiterate IPOP DOS criminals. And they are illiterate. Listening. Autopilot are different people. And that bloated pig, always talking rubbish and spitting everywhere. That pig is like another affront. Now, he said you should address them like illiterate IPOP the DOS criminals. Now, the same illiterate IPOP. <laughs> That are the criminals is the same the same IPOB that this you know Agafu, this Agafu in Finland is now telling you that he is going to be answering today that they are no longer autopilot. He's denying his group autopilot. Listen to it attentively. Listen to it before we come back to this. I want you to understand that some people are really trying to get our attention. Okay? <laughs> some people are trying to get our attention. Wow. 
the date is already 14th here. So for those of you saying I should change the date, that is why it is from 13th. Oh, sorry, from um, 13th to 14th. One moment. You will be addressing us officially mm -hmm. as the IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. If you wish, you will add autopilot. It is not that necessary. If you wish, you will add autopilot. It is no longer necessary. <laughs> Did you hear that? You will be addressing them as IPOB. The same IPOB which are illiterate criminals. <laughs> hey, no matter. Now let's listen to this one again. Let's listen to it again. Pay attention. Pay attention. Thank you. Uh, so, as I the only thing I'm telling you, I have not come here to attack you, I have not come here to block. you because I will not blackmail anybody that have done nothing to me. I will not blackmail you. Your anger, I understand it because it is happening to me. So the same way I am feeling is the same way you are feeling. I so I have not come here to attack Asari Dukubo. Tell Why Asari Dukubo the first Let time me... in the history of this the struggle place. that I have come and addressed his concern and I did not attack him. And let him not attack autopilot. Tell him that autopilot are not the one that attacking him. Tell him that any day you want to address these people, he should address them properly. Address them like illiterate IPOB DOS criminals and their errant. Autopilots are different people. And that bloated pig, always talking rubbish and spitting everywhere. That pig is like another Afonja in our land. That pig. That pig is an agent of darkness in our land. If you don't know, I will tell you tonight. Did you hear that? Illiterate IPOB, the same IPOB now that he is claiming, the same illiterate IPOB that he is claiming now that he is now going to be addressed as <laughs> is the same IPOB that is illiterate IPOB DOS criminal. <laughs> Listen, let us continue with the main story. Am I clear? The indigenous people of Biafra Twenty-two, February twenty-eight. Every autopilot today is hereby declared indigenous people of Biafra. Mm -hmm. Official. Use it anywhere. Use it anyhow, and let nobody tell you that you are autopilot. Okay. Autopilot is going to be a nickname we will be answering and all that. Your name is IPOB. You are indigenous people of Biafra. Tell anybody who feel threatened by this declaration today 
to go to anywhere. Remember the from the preamble, I told you that after the the the, um, the HOD's um, speech last night, what this guy noticed was that you know he noticed something. He said, "So these people are not even at my back. They are not even you know looking for me. They are not even after me. Therefore." It means that I can fly. That is the reason why you find him flying the way he is flying right now. <laughs> you know, he just discovered that the leadership never has it, never even had his time. They don't have his time. That is the reason why he's decided now to, you know, to fly higher. That is what you are seeing right now. He is so excited that his name was mentioned because he wanted to hear from the leadership to know what is in their mind. He's been dying to hear from them. Mention his name to know what is in the mind of the leadership. And that's exactly what just happened. And he heard from the leadership and he become more excited, which means I can go more. I can go harder because they can do nothing. That is the reason why he is saying that if anybody feels threatened, they can take him anywhere because he noticed that the leadership does not have his time. <laughs> hey, hey. Psychology, psychology. Let us continue. Listen. Start uh, recognizing inconsequential people. Now you can now believe you are now going to your your, your eyes are still now in control of anything. Wow. Finally, you are now you know you can you can you can see the picture very clear. They are not in control of anything. Nobody listen to them. ESL is intact. <laughs> Hi, you know, people does not know the reason why. Whenever this guy called mentioned ESN, you know, it is the reason why I always laugh whenever he mentioned ESN is intact. He does not even know anything about ESN as we speak. You know, that one I can bet my life on it. He does not know anything about ESN as we are speaking. But every time he's using the name of ESN <laughs> to organize fundraising. Every time he's using the name of ESN to organize fundraising. This guy said that he is building an alliance or creating an alliance with all these, you know, militia groups that are in the Biafra land. And at the end of it, he knows that when he mentioned their name, you will not give them money. That he will only mention ESN that you give him money. That is the reason why every day ESN is the topic of the day. <laughs> Every day, ESN is the topic of the day. That is the reason why each and every time he will not cease to mention ESN. Because the ESN you saw, you saw here, the first time when Mazen Namdekan was kidnapped, rendition to Nigeria, the first thing they did, they went in there with $747,000. Almost a million dollars, which they stole from the account before Umweri account. They stole that money. They used that money to deceive some of the people in the ESN. And they fish them out. And those same people are the same people that are committing crime today. That you see on the TV. That they are being reported. 
that they are going to collect a ransom. Because the reason why I can categorically tell you what is going on, because I know activities of ESN. I know everything with regards to ESN created by Mazen Namdekan. That is the reason why I am telling you about those moles that they created in the name that every time they're presenting themselves as ESN. Those moles that have been putting themselves in the in problem, getting themselves killed for no reason because they went, they gone south. Because if you go south, you can no longer go home. If you go south, you can no longer go home. That is what these people just discovered, that they have seen against the struggle, and therefore these people are under oath. When you are under oath, you sin against the struggle. At the end of the day, you are going to fall because you swore an oath to protect the land of Biafra, not to terrorize the land of Biafra. So whenever you go contrary to that oath that you have sworn, you, it is going to pay you, you know, you are going to pay with your life because you swear oath to protect the land, not to terrorize the land. So whenever, regardless of who made you available, regardless of who made you lose guard, regardless of whether you, you got a call that the Tina Samoru is not treating you correctly, that this person and you use because of what you heard, when the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra made us to understand that, you know, if you have any problem, hold your problem, hold your complaint until I return. That was the what Mazen Namdekan said to all of us. If you have any problem, hold your problem, hold your complaint, tell it to me when I return, then I will handle it. Then somebody came from nowhere to deceive you and you call yourself a formidable IPOB. You are, let me tell you what you are. You are a formidable Onuku. That's what you are. A formidable idiot. That's exactly what you are. You claim that you are a disciple of Mazen Namdekano, but you went ahead contradicting everything that he has put in place. You went ahead, you know, duplicating everything he put in place. You went ahead creating radio he created. You went ahead going against the, you know, the security of our land, trying to turn them against the, you know, the people who give them directions. Because this is called divide and rule strategy. The divide and rule strategy, which is what you are, you are using against our people. And this divide and rule strategy is what is destroying these guys that you have managed to use the money that IPOB across the world, Biafrans across the world, donated in order for the safety of our land. You, Nelly, Oyibo, Bridget, and all that, they siphon that money and you use it to go and fish them out. When that money got finished, that was when these people now engaging themselves into sort of criminalities that you see them today coming up, being killed. You know, just like you will hear him here saying, okay, in the other video that I am going to show you, when he was talking about Ikonso, that, he, you know, when he, is, he was talking about Ikonso, because even during that time, he was deceiving our ESN. He was as well deceiving the family of Ikonso, and I know that so many of you might not be aware of it. While he was deceiving that some of these boys on the ground, he was deceiving Ikonso's family as well. And I am going to show you that. I am going to show you that as we proceed. But I want you to pay attention. Each time he mentions ESN, he is mentioning this ESN only because 
ESN is the only thing that can put food on his table. ESN is the only thing that can melt your heart to bring money and give this a very man. But believe you me, this guy is not, you know, this guy does not know anything about the ESN. He does not know anything about ESN except the criminals that he formed in the name that he told you that the Nelly and Oyibo, they were forming a militia group in the name of Ada. That was the, the, the name of the militia they formed when they were all together. Ada. Which he made a video and show you that these people, they are called, um, is it uh, M branch? It is the militia they created called Ada. All these boys that they have gathered that time, those boys are the people whom that seven fifth, seven hundred and almost a million dollar they have stolen from the account before they claim Umeri account. You know, that money they use to make them June, July. You know, they use that money to make them June, July. Hello, they make that money, they, these people followed them. When that money finished, there was no other money. Even the fundraising they claim they are doing all the time, it is not enough to service what they have started. That was the reason why this, some of these people started engaging into kidnapping, criminality. The one you call baby, the one you call lion lion, the one you called 50, which is the one of recent. That so many of you who are uninformed will come and say it is the leadership that is killing the ESN because they are following Simon Eva. You know, one thing is knowing the truth. Another thing is discovering the truth. Because when you look at what is going on right now, you will agree with me and you will understand that, you know, this guy, Nelly Ofebu, Oyibo, as Bridget, before this Azuka, Johnny just come over, Azuka and him, in fact, he joined, he, he started pronouncing IPOB before Azuka. Azuka was yesterday, yesterday Azuka was yesterday uh, Pasabayo, but because he need a woman that he will use, he will be presenting to people in order to use their face to manipulate people. So that many of you believe that once he's a woman and they cannot commit crime, you don't know that women are the people that are placed in the manipulative, you know, situation, in place where they need to manipulate you, women will be there so that you will believe them in a hurry. That is the reason why he cannot work without those women. Now, when they had problem after that seven, almost one million dollar finished, they now nearly discovered. They discovered that there is something about this guy with money. That the way he's, every time he say he's paying these people, he's paying that people, but he's enriching himself. He buying, he's buying himself a new car in Finland. All these things triggered a problem, which led him, for Nelly to come to expose him, he dropped the nude of Nelly, so that Nelly will run away from social media. Are you paying attention? The reason why he did it, so that Nelly will run away from social media. But eventually, eventually, Nelly did not run away from social media because Nelly did not want to accept defeat from his accomplices. Now Nelly still stay put, but now Lorito Onochie, who is also masterminding all this shenanigan of Nelly Oyuboriteze, Lorito Onochie, the woman in Asoroka, Kuna Abuja, that woman who is the one who came also to say anywhere they see the nude of uh, Nelly of Febu in internet, they should drop the page. That was the proclamation he, she issued to the media um, owners to protect Nelly. They are, you know, the people that they are using. Now, after that, Nelly did not move out of social media, but what surprises me is that Nelly did not do the exposition as per what this guy is up to. I don't know if it is because he has some more things 
that he you know some more nude that he's going to share if Nelly indeed do what he's doing. Or Nelly is scared that this nude will gallop in America because Nelly is supposed to be a person that is do living a life worthy of emulation because she's a teacher, she's a school teacher in the United States. So I believe that the threat is the reason why Nelly, say, you know, and he knows what exactly what he was doing. That threat, you know, me amu Nelly da, other Nelly amu. That threat. So at some point, this thing is going on. Every time this guy is telling you ESN, ESN, there is nothing like ESN in every shenanigan that these people are presenting. There is nothing like ESN. ESN is not involved. It is the it is the people they have deceived, the people they have gathered together in order to create a militia group called ADA. Those are the same people that you are hearing today because now they know that ESN is even nowhere to be found by them again or their members. That is the reason why they cannot, they cannot assess ESN anymore because all these modes amongst them, they are being separated from the wheat. Those chaff are being separated from the wheat. And that is the reason why this guy you see today, he cannot have that, you know, he cannot have that gumption you know, that gumption in mentioning ESN. When last did you hear him mentioning ESN? Because he knows that the leadership mentioned his name. That's when he, that's how he became audacious. He has that, he now has that gumption to mention ESN again. So that you will find him in a few days time to tell you that you need to raise fund for ESN. Are you paying attention? This is the manipulative approaches that this guy has been using against our people. And if care is not taken, if care is not taken, those of you who are using, you know, your platform, I know that many of you are bloggers. You just using it in order to, because, you know, you use it to build your page, to collect money from Facebook. That is even the reason why. When we, don't be surprised when we are done with this video, you will hear a copyright. You will see a copyright on top of it because you will, they, they now report it. You say, they now put copyright on their videos so that we don't expose them. That's exactly what we are doing because I know that all this music, I'm no longer playing them because it has copyright. Now to my greatest surprise, after exposing this, they will tell me copyright. And at, at the end of the day, I'm not a blogger. So the only thing is that they will tell you copyright that these people will, they will claim from your this and this. that's okay. You know, as long as we are able to communicate the truth, the factual information to our people, that is exactly what matters. Nothing else. But I can assure you, this guy does not know anything about ESN. As we speak now, like I said to you, I can tell you categorically that this guy does not know anything about ESN. He now saw, because they are our, our, our men on ground, they already know that this guy is a killer squad. This guy is a killing machine. They now distance themselves from every of these, his guns. They distance themselves. They now made it mandate anybody who contacted this, anybody related to this experiment. Right from the time, you know, baby was, um, Lion Lion was captured. You heard about Lion Lion, you know how he ended. You heard about him and you saw what he was doing in Anambra State and Osumo when this ESN captured him. They captured him because they still went to use the name of ESN to commit their crime. They used the name of ESN to snatch cars. They used the name of ESN to exploit our people. Go to the petrol station, they buy petrol, full tank, without payment. And at the end of the day, somebody will come to my phone to tell me that, you know, people, 
that uh, the leadership is using Soludo to kill our people. If there is any activities that Soludo is doing in Anambra State, just like I wrote earlier on, we are trying to follow it up to know what exactly is the activities of Soludo. But as we know that ESN, our ESN, gazetted ESN, not the ones the, the, the criminals are using every time, just like they have told you now about, uh, they are telling you about uh, being IPOB, that they are now IPOB. Our gazetted ESN, Soludo would dare not to touch any of them. Soludo would dare not to touch any of them. For those of you who are uninformed, that at the end of the day, you people will be talking rubbish. If you have anybody that tell you that they are ESN, that they have, Soludo has killed them. You bring anybody who will confess that. Let's see that person. Because the problem you people have is that when somebody who is lying to you because you are uninformed, then you will come out and start flying the news. Flying the news that the leadership is made Soludo to go into the, uh, to be Anambara State uh, um, governor for them, for him to be used to kill our people. That is exactly where, what so many of you are believing. The lies that you are told. The lie, how did the leadership make Soludo to go into power of Anambra State? How? Did anybody campaign for Soludo? If we have to talk about, uh, you know, people that was, uh, you know, that was, we heard people talking about during the time of election. We had Master Prophet campaigning for an Efanyo Oba. Uh, you know, Soludo, if he won the election, he could win the election because Soludo was very vocal about the struggle. Their friends, when you give them your support, they will give you their support. And that is how it is. Soludo was very vocal. He didn't hide it. That Mazen Namdekano is not a criminal. That Mazen Namdekano is fighting a just cause. He was vocal about the release of Mazen Namdekano. So if Biafra saw that and voted for him, then the criminals who wanted to vote for APC led government, which promised them one billion, is was it one billion that was told? Because this guy, Eberima, was was actually trying to boycott election for the and Uba to win an Ambra State election, which he built him one billion naira. He built him one billion naira. Is it either one billion or twenty billion naira? I have forgotten the figure that I was given, you know. But I knew I know that. Um, Few months ago, I brought it to your notice. Then, when he didn't work, he still expects this Andy Oba to pay him that money. Andy Oba now dropped him, and he starts saying to uh, that uh, Soludo was making statement that Andy Oba is the one causing the insecurity in Anambra State. If you can understand that uh, that that point, that time, there are many things that we know. There are many data that we have. That some of them are not the data that we will present online because of security reasons. But we will present to you the ones that are not that sensitive. But at the end of the day, the day of reckoning is coming. The day of reckoning. Because as in Abatos, I go a mile. Now, let us continue to listen to what he is saying here. So now, for people who has been telling me, you know, I have not less than two calls yesterday about people telling me that the leadership went to make Soludo to win an Ambara State election. Is that not laughable? Is it not laughable? If you wanted to think about the man of the people during an Ambara State election campaign, it was a final, but 
a man of the people. It was actually a fine over that they placed Soludo there in order for Soludo to be killing our people. That is their argument. And that has been what they've been saying, using it to deceive the gullible ones. You never heard leadership to when they call for election boycott. Immediately when Mazin Nam the Khan said, no, you cannot boycott the election. And even common sense, which is not common anymore, will tell you that our leader is held captive. You are boycotting the election. While the autopilot is up and running, Asarido Kubo up and running, trying to make sure that they call Mazen Nam the Khan a terrorist that time, so that they will eliminate him and forget about him. That was where the plans of the enemy during that time. Because had it been we boycotted the Anambra State election, that will make us anti-democratic movement. And it is only terrorist that is anti-democratic movement. Because our case that time was very sensitive. Nigeria government bribed so many institutions. And from the international communities, they bribed so many individuals. All they we are waiting for is the mistake that IPOB will do at that point in time. That is the reason why we are more diplomatic. We continue to protect the interest of this struggle and the life of our leader who is in the hands of the enemy, which, is, which actually made us to be handicapped. When our leader called for the, you know, to put a stop on that, um, on that boycott of Anambra state election, which the leadership, you know, they were actually reluctant in calling off the Anambra state boycott. That's why they called it, they called it a dime minute, a late, because they wanted to make sure it was it exactly what our leader wanted. When they discovered, they called it off. And some people are here talking rubbish. Now, let's listen to this guy again to hear what he has to say before we go to how he is manipulating Econsor's family using the name of Econsor in order to lie to our people. Using to name the name of Econsor in order to lie to our people. Now, let's go there. Let's go there. Oh. So I want you to understand that we are the indigenous people of Biafra IPO. If you want to add autopilot. Somebody is denying autopilot. I want you to understand something I want to say today. Uh. That, uh, the relative of our leader. Now, before he go there, before he go there, I want you now to understand what he's about to say. The relatives of our leader, the name of Kanon Takano, prophet of all prophets, and. Uh, Emmanuel Kano, but to be specific, Kano Takano, you know, to be specific, Kano Takano that he is talking about. Remember when this all this shenanigans started? You know, they, he is the one who told us that Kano Takano, him and Nelly. So do Mazenam the Kano. He is the one, right? He is the one who told us that Mazenam the Kano little brother is a Fulani boy. And calling him a Fulani boy means that nah, no way case where Motia. That is the meaning of calling him a Fulani boy. And now he is the same person now telling you, trying to tell you here that it is a pity that you know these people these same people who sold their brother according to him 
and this same person whom he called a fool and a boy, that they chose a wrong path by, you know, supporting the leadership from the beginning of all these things. Now, I know the reason why he is saying these things that he is saying right now. The real reason why he is saying it is because he could see that, you know, this same Canon Takano is now an enemy of everything. And because he knows that he is the one who exposed this Canon Takano, he knows that he's the one who exposed Canon Takano for his activities. Now he want to mend, he want to you know use style, use style now to brainwash people to remove Canon Takano from where he place him because he wants Canon Takano now to start working with him in order to start getting information. In order to start getting information from what is going on, um, or what our leader is up to, what does our leader know? You know, that is exactly what he is trying to drive his way through into. Of course, we know, we know that Canon Takano is back in communication with him because he is also looking for a voice to fight the leadership because all the Akugo, we have seen him for what he is. He is looking for the leadership in order, he is looking for a voice or platform to attack the leadership. Now, hear the story. He wants to start, you know, sympathizing, sympathizing with Canon Takano, Master Prophet. You know, he wants to sympathize with them. So that you will find a way to maybe tomorrow if you see them communicating or if you see them in his platform, if you see, you know, you will understand that it is business now. Business has now moved, you know, is now taking another shape because now they are no longer getting money. You see autopilot, autopilot, Biafrans that have left them uh, behind. Forget about all this irat in the comment section and bloggers. These bloggers, bloggers are there because they also want to use it as a content. The bloggers you see that is promoting him, they want to use him as a content. So forget about all these things that you are seeing. Okunda and Yugo, their light is off. The light of their criminality is off. You know, our men on ground, you know, they have picked up their pieces from where they have fallen short. They have organized themselves now. They are more formidable, more than ever before. And now, our people in Biafra land, they have realized exactly what is going on with this Eberima. Because he will always find a way to manipulate you in order to tell you fundraising. He will always find a way to manipulate you in order to tell you fundraising. Don't be surprised that there might be a fundraising in coming days. Don't be surprised if you see a sticker. Because whenever he wants to create, build a, a background in order to introduce fundraising, I know it. And I always come around that time. To, you know, because I no longer listen to his broadcast, but I know that... God will always take me to that one that I must expose. Once I get hold of that one, I listen to it. Now I will know what to do with it. That is exactly what is going on. I don't have time for to listening to, listening to his broadcast again to follow him up to know what he's doing because I know that his light is off. Okay, Anugo. Let us uh, continue. <laughs> it breaks your heart. It breaks my heart. Wow. That Kano Takano, Emmanuel Kano, 
and all the relatives of our leader. Even if whatever they have done, it breaks my heart. They didn't see this day coming. <laughs> it breaks your heart. <laughs> It breaks my heart. Hey. It breaks my heart that they were deceived. It breaks my heart that Kano Takano, apart from the fact that he knew our leader was kidnapped. And he concealed it. Now, apart from that, he went now to find a way to remove Canon Takano from there. After all the months and year of telling you that Canon Takano was the one, he want to remove him from there because Canon Takano now is probably dancing on the tone of his benefit. The tone of his benefit. That is the reason why he started breaking his heart. That is the reason why he want to find a way to navigate, you know, this knowing about your brother and you concealed it. And he want to now find a way to remove that path of knowing and concealing. So that they will now start working together. That is exactly what you are seeing what going on here. Because he no, he believed that when he, he gets Canon Takano around, he believed that Golabu Biafrans will be bringing money. And maybe he will also get uh, the money woman around, which is uh, um, Madam Finance, the, the Golabu Madam Finance, emotional fool, Madam Finance. Madam Finance, let me be honest with you, Madam Finance might not have done anything so so you know evil she might not have done anything so evil but she is a gullible fool you know and forgetting that in this type of struggle you don't have to be gullible gullibility is the you know you know is what you cannot tolerate you need to be more rational this is not a family case that because you are Madam Finance, you hear that this person and Mazen Namdekano share the same surname. Therefore, let me carry this finance that the whole 70 million Biafra and more is donating. Let me go and uh, um, sit next to the, the family. As if we <laughs> we are doing um Igwe Igwe in the village now. Nka ezepo ezibi. I'm one year old kano chie. As if we are doing ezepo one year old kano chie. That is exactly what she is thinking. With notwithstanding that Mazen Nam the Kano, his brother, that is undermining his, you know, strategies, made us to understand that the DOS is the highest office anything the dos says goes anything they said goes he did not say anything my siblings say goes that is the reason why he is an honorable man he never said anything my siblings says goes he said anything the dos say go if they call you on phone, you are reluctant to return their call or pick up their call. I will know that Zoo have bought you over and you will be dealt with. I am quoting him verbatim. That was his words. Then somebody who call herself the woman who is entrusted with our money decided now to go to the family member whom was alleged to, to conceal the information of our leader being kidnapped in Kenya for eight days. 
you decided to go and align with that same person. Is that not an irony? Is that not an irony? I am not accusing anybody, but in a situation like this, and he never come to the bank that he knew that our leader was captured for eight days, and he said to the DOS that the leader is praying in the mountain, and he said to the other woman, don't make it public. He never come to the bank that, you know, claim showing you that there is some truth in it. Now, while we are at it, Madam Finance, go and well wrap a on your kidnap one year worker for eight days. He kept quiet, he concealed it. With the IPOB money. If he asks you for one million, you give him one million dollar. Tomorrow he will go and say, Vanguard, take this, uh, take this hundred thousand naira. Write some nonsense there that uh, I was in uh, Canon Takanu is in United Nations and United Nations to pass it. While the news of United Nations, what surprises me is that the news of United Nations came out in April. In April. That was when United Nations issued that proclamation to Nigeria. But because of conflict of interest, it was not reported. It was not told to us. And who made that move? It was Mazen Nam, the Kano's wife. It was not Kanon Takano. But now, the, this uh, Vanguard newspaper, they reported it in the 2020. October 2021. Pay attention. They reported it in October 2021. And this one that happened in April, which was moved by Mazen Nam, the colonel's wife and the lawyer. Now, Vanguard now bring that one of October 2021, updated it, which if you go to Google, you know, to Google, to check when Vanguard reposted it, it was on the third of, you know, I think on the 23 or the third of July. On the third of July, that was when Vanguard updated that one of October about Canon Takano again, updated it, brought it, that it was on top of the news. Whenever you search it, and it has um, what is called. Um, um, is it uh, um, that is you know when you go to online they are on the top the first thing once you tap so, uh, type something like that it is that one of Canon Takano that will appear first SEO it has SEO a, night, a great SEO so that whenever you type it it comes out first now Vanguard reported it was him Using the same story, just updating it, it was him. The one that it was Mazen Nam, the colonel's wife, they didn't report it, they didn't bring it, they didn't SEO it. If not, that I went deep to look for who went to United Nations. Because I actually made a exposition on the one of Canon Takano. Believing it was him, I actually held him. And I told him, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Not to be around gossiping. Without knowing it was not him. Rather, it was the wife of our leader. Who went to United Nations with the law. This thing. That was where I found the news. The correct news. Of those. Of the person who was in United Nations. You will tell me why is Vanguard promoting Canon Takano? The question is up for you to answer. Now, coming back to what we are saying, he want to find a way to bring him closer. Because you believe when he bring Canon Takano closer, it will bring more money. More money. Because everything that this guy is fighting for is money. Believe you me. Believe you me. 
anything, if there is anything he is up for, it is your money. It is your money and the power. Hear it clearly. It is your money and the power. How many of these criminal prophets and the pastors are still coming out to tell you, hear me and hear me clearly? How many of them are you still seeing? Because this guy, if you see what they have started with this guy. It will It will expose them all. Now, let us continue to see how it is a pity that he is pitying the people. He first of all announced that they were criminal. He is pitying the criminal. He claimed that you know sold Mazenam the can to Nigeria government. Today he is pitying. It is a pity that they chose this. It is a pity. It is a pity. Now let, let's hear the reason why it is a pity. Listen attentively. Because the enemy of your enemy will become your friend, regardless of what they have done. As long as you have, you know, interest, selfish interest, it does not matter who comes around and the join force with you. And once they join force with you, as long as he, he brings your interest on the table, it doesn't matter. That is why it is a pity. That is the reason why it is becoming a pity. That Canon Takano, he used to call you on the phone. He's actually confessing. He used to call you on the phone. You people need to discuss. That one looking for your number. Listen to it attentively. By whom? Where is my heart? By whom? Do you have a heart? Of our leader didn't see today. They didn't see how genuine Simon Emma. Hi! They didn't see the loyalty of Simon Emma to Mazenam. Wow. Dude, dude, dude. If, there, if we talk about genuity, if we have to talk about genuinity, you know, it, this guy, he is a, he is a, he is a criminal. When I talk about criminal, he is a manipulative criminal. Did you see the emotion he is trying to create here? He's trying to create emotion that even some of you who knows he's a criminal will become biased by talking in general by telling you it breaks your heart to know that you know they didn't know how genuine simon Eba is it is a psychology a reverse psychology you know it is a reverse psychology he's trying to use on you pay very good attention don't be moved by that reverse psychology he is a criminal listen attentively After they have succeeded in using them against me today, they are fighting them. They are fighting the siblings of Mazin Africa. It's happening. One thing about me is that I have human heart. <laughs> human heart. This guy say he has a human heart. What is human heart that this guy called out people from Biafra land? And from the first week, Mazen Namdekan was kidnapped. The time they got hold of that money, nine men was killed. The one nearly told you they were carried in, that the military was carried, they took 2,000 body bags. That was when they started killing our people. And some people will come and tell you that those men that Tina Samoru did not give them uh, money for 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 bullet and for guns. You know, some people will come and tell you 
that this the, the, the leadership is siphoning the money for these people. But now, the same people decided to turn around, turn away from, because you know, half information is very, very dangerous. Half information. That is what these people are using to destroy our people, including the people that I believe they will know better. It, you know, it pains me that the people I thought that they will know better, they are falling, you know, in the trap of these people. The lies that they have told. Some people, they are against him, but the lie he has told them never left them alone. The lies he told them did not leave them alone. And I want to tell these people, because now, I know some of you that I am talking to, you are watching right now, which I don't want to start talking up, giving a details of what, you know, what I heard from you guys. But the most important thing is that you have seen the light of the truth, but the lies that this guy told you is not yet leaving you behind. You are still being manipulated with that lies because maybe... You you expect Chike Doziamu to speak to you or to recognize you. You expect China Samoru to dance to your tone or take your advices. If they refuse, then you now being consumed with anger. This anger, it is not going to help you guys. The most important thing you need to do. Keep this your anger in your pocket. When Mazin Namdekan comes out, present your anger to him. That is my advice to many of you. Leave this, just put it in your pocket. I didn't say throw it away, hold it. Even if you get heart attack, why holding it? Continue holding it. When Mazin Namdekan come, present it to him. Let him be the judge because he's the one who gave us these people to listen to. He's the one who told us that they are the highest command. And you know a soldier at war, they obey the last order until otherwise. And he went ahead to tell you that it is lack of discipline that made us lose 1967 to 1970. Why don't you try to make a change in this time around? If you believe that you trust Mazen Namdekan, who are, is the one piloting this affair. If you believe you trust in him, why don't you follow his strategies? And if it fails, you blame it on him. I don't believe that any of you who are trying to be more Biafran than others, who are trying to care more than others, that you care about ordinary Biafrans on the ground more than Mazen Namdekan do. You don't. You cannot lose your freedom. Mazen Namdekanu is a married person. He's a family man. He committed no crime. But he lost his freedom. Just for the sake of Biafrans. And somebody who is sitting in their comfort zone. In Finland. Siphoning your money. Buying himself a new car. Why well, Mazin Namdekano, ever since he started this struggle, you never see him with the bicycle. When he called him, when he said that you discover and you realize that this is a man we are going to follow, you never see him buying himself a bicycle. He didn't. Because he knows that there is money you are entrusting in his hands. It is not because that he cannot buy himself a bicycle. He can. And nobody needs to question him about it. But because he does not want you to doubt him. He did not do such, those things. Not that he cannot find a way to get his own money and do it. But that is the reason why he avoid those things. And at the end of the day, he tell you that the freedom of our nation is his priority. Is what is worth more than the Ferrari, worth more than every any car that you can want to, you will want to drive. And he continue walking up and down, trying to lobby, trying to do everything for me and you to have freedom. 
but not even up to a year that he very man say he's your spokesperson. One man in Finland say he's your spokesperson. He already got himself a brand new car, not just ordinary car because he siphoned a lot of money. He was in Finland for many years. He could not change his car. He could not change his car. But immediately when Mazenam the car went uh, captured in the, by the hands in the hands of the enemy, he bought himself a new car. How come? Or oh, because you people don't does not have sense of reasoning. You people does not have anything to think. You, you know, you don't follow your enemy to follow what is exactly their agenda. It is only to enrich themselves. You cannot tell me that I am jealous of him because he bought himself a new car. I have cars that is better than even the Ferrari he bought himself or even the whatever he claimed he bought himself. I have it double. It is not my problem. But I am telling you. And the reason why I can categorically tell you that I have it, you didn't entrust your money with me. It is my hard work that gave me whatever I am living on. It is my hard work. So, somebody who came into the struggle to tell you he's a military, He's a lawyer. He's this and that. He's going to get you Biafra. He won party politician in Finland. He did this. He did that. At the end of the day, he made photoshops showing you, telling you that he is whom he is not. And you don't care to find a reason why this guy is coming with lies. Why does he need to lie to me for me to believe him? It means there is something fishy because you don't think out of the box. You always encroach your mind with what you see or what you are being told. You don't like your, your mental slave is not allowing you to, you know, to make investigation with regards to what you hear and what you digest. You just digest them because you are gullible. That is exactly the reason why this guy is manipulating you. This guy is deceiving you. That is exactly the reason why he's doing so. Today he is telling you that he has a good heart. He has a good heart that he went and killed nine men from the first week of Mazen Namdekan being kidnapped. In the name trying to hijack ESN, in the name trying to create a militia group called ADA. These are Biafran that he was killing. And he, he capitalized that he consult this, he consult that. Manipulating the family of he consult. And we are still going there. That is where my exposition of the day is. I want to show you something from that video. Let's continue to the, listening to this while I look for that video in advance. Cannot, I cannot. He didn't see today. Breaks my heart that the man I know didn't see today. <laughs> With the heart, do you it have a heart? heart? That all those ones in Germany could not see today. Wow. So they are calling you now. They have seen today. They are calling you. And they deceive me <laughs> to find a person that could have salvaged their image if they were pure, if their hands were clean. It breaks my heart. But that's not why I'm here. This comment I have made today let whoever that I have mentioned here go and check himself. I know why you said that. It breaks my heart. Because I remember when I was talking with Kano Takano. Okay, pay attention. I remember when the first message came from our leader. I remember how Kano Takano was uh, 
searching for my number everywhere. Mm -hmm. I remember how Kano Takano talked with me. Taron Takano was searching for your number everywhere. Go and look at it, y'all. Kano Takano, he noticed now that you are smarter than him in criminality. Uh, probably. It didn't work. That is the reason why two of you started fighting. That is all I can see in this uh, regard. He was searching for your number. Kowa look at it, y'all. Then he saw that in each room, one year, Katabo, one week, 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 the people that, you know, make things happen on your side, the people who brought you out fully, he, she, he saw that he cannot fit in there. And that is the reason why Nelly hates Canon Takano so much. <laughs> you know, because he wanted to hijack you first before them themselves hijacked you. <laughs> then that is the reason why Nelly hates him so much and all of them. Now, he, when he noticed that, no, this guy is, go, is a con man. He's going to con me. He's going to be taking lion share. Then Kano Takano decided to go to DOS, believing that the DOS also, that they are gullible. <laughs> now he is discovering that the DOS are only, you know, being good with him because they know he's a brother to Mazen Nam de Kano. He's a sibling to Mazen Nam de Kano. And for the respect that they have for the family of Kano, they allowed him to mess up all this while. And you know, I don't blame anybody because myself, I fought for him in the for 12 months. I fought for Kano Takano. I fought for him for the love I have for this Kano's family. The whole world will bear me witness. Chukwo Kikabiyama will bear me witness for the love I have for Kano's family. I fought for him. I said to myself, no matter what it is, Mazen Nam the Kano will come out and tell us what is going on. We cannot talk. You know, we cannot, you know, I cannot actually try to call his family member a criminal because it is still the same Kano. I can't get, you know, over it that Kano, Mazen Nam the Kano, and then somebody tell me Kano Takano. No, I couldn't bear it. So any other person who is emotionally, you know, fooled by that name, you know, I will not blame that person. I will not blame them much because I fought for that Canon Takano. I fought for him. And if, if he come out today to tell you it is a lie, he will be, you know, and I to be also, the land will start chasing after him. With all my heart, wholeheartedly, I fought for him for the sake of Kano family. Not for his sake. And I will still continue to defend Kano's family. But in, not individually anymore. Individually, if you I bring criminality to Mulia Bogus Smackdown, that's how it is. Now, let us continue. Let us continue what the reason why this guy is saying he breaks his heart. Of course, he does not have a heart. He's a criminal. At the end of the day, he was deceived. I remember how Emmanuel Lucano contacted me. At the end of the day, was the same because they are not pure they were looking for something else than following the, the legacy of their own brother he, I am telling you. he is confessing because he knows what was the the business they brought to the table the business they brought to the table when they discovered that this one will be conning them because he also he is very smarter than them. And that is the reason why this one will always tell you 
that if Mazen Namde Kano will be will be exposed to who sold him, that he will be shocked. That if you know he will make that statement here, yeah, let's he listen to wait for that statement for him to make it again. Then I will remind you if he never made it already, they will make it again here. Yeah. So you believe in native doctor and oracle, Simon M. So you believe in them. You believe in them. <laughs> wow. The native doctors and oracle. But you believe in them, but you will bless a sacrament. You believe in native doctors and oracle, but you use blessed sacrament. Oh, before because now the other day you, you remove it and your candle is off today. You believe in all these things and you will over the Maria and Chadesan and Zuki. You see the deceit when we talk about deceit, deceiving you, deceiving our people with all these things uh, at uh, in behind him. Blessed sacrament, the other side. And uh Virgin Maria and Chakano Nazia. That is everything that you need to know. You believe in all this um, oracle and native doctor to tell them that Simon Epa is a good man because you know that the native doctor which you use, you and Nelly, which at the end of the day, you turn to whoever against them and make it is Nelly's problem only. You know, he's doing everything to make sure that he deceive our people. He's doing everything to make sure that whenever you open your mouth, you deceive our people. And yet you bring blessed sacrament when they deceive you. You bring obey Jesus. Image of your this thing. Bring it behind you. You are using it to de deceive our gullible people. And the pastors and prophetess, the, the so-called pastors. They are every day telling, saying, you are the one, you are the one. They have seen. Fam, I got mama. Can I come back now today? Ella put a gun back. Where is he today? After he said autopilot, where Piaiya? I told him autopilot. I can I can pass it here final final. I go up here here. Can I know my come back now adoration? I go close go back adoration. My can autopilot Piaiya? A B I E G E reverse psychology too. You know, promote autopilot in the media space. Imagine that in a Chukwoki Kabiama is watching. Whatever you do, Chukwoki Kabiama Kagike is watching. You want to pay him back for exposing on Naga. You know, when I uh, tell you anything, you should understand that it is a factual information. When he gave him to expose Onaga and his son and the family, instead of him calling Onaga to solve this issue as a in the priest and the priest after exposing Onaga, Simon that was the leverage. Without you forgetting that you can sin against the Holy Spirit, you can sin against every other human being, deceive any other human being, but immediately when you sin against the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you will put yourself in a trouble that you will never come out of by coming to use reverse psychology to promote a very mind Finland. And that is the fate of all these people that call themselves pastor. And you will remember this day. You will remember this day. Let us continue. Ask, 
Okay. That is nothing. He have nothing to say. Karen Takano will have nothing to say because the agreement, the arrangement, initial arrangement, when Mbunu let her mother name the can, initial arrangement could not hold the water. Now, if you remember, I want you to flash back. When these people continue to tell you, like one idiot who came to my WhatsApp this, uh, was it this morning? Came to my WhatsApp, writing or uh, asking me who be, who betrayed Mazen Namdekan. You know how come I can't believe it is the DOA? You know I I can't I'm not quote it's not the way he wrote it because I don't want to lie against him. He said, okay, let me actually read it. Let me actually read it. Because I have it here. I have it here. Um, I have it here. Let me actually see the message a comrade sent to me first. Okay, confirm, confirm, confirm. Thank you. So now... Let's go there. Let me bring that thing. And the person who is sending me this thing, I wonder, I ask myself, he first of all say greetings. This is, this was the messages. You know, the messages. Let me read it. He said, greetings to you. Amma Azichidi, okay, from Biafra. From Biafra. I have been seeing, I have been seeing the drama that have been unfolding since the betrayal and kidnapping of the true leader of Africa, Onyen Duma Zenam I have been quiet, I've been quiet for so long, for long, but this is my second response to that ugly drama since Mazi was betrayed and kidnapped. With due respect, I have two questions for you. I need your approval to ask. I say, go on. Okay, thanks. Firstly, Onyan Duma Zenam de Kano was kidnapped, was betrayed rather, into the hands of the enemies by who? He is asking me that question. Secondly, why is that Mazenam de Kano was kidnapped in, the, in Kenya for eight days and leadership of IPOB? DOS did not know or talked about it for that eight days. Now, first of all, it is true that he introduced himself as it is true that he introduced himself to me as Chidi. I have to, you know, try to find out who is this Chidi. I now, you know, do my own magic ways. I discovered whom he is. He is from a Bonny state. He is from a Bonny state. And I know his full name. He's not, you know, I know his full name. But I'm still waiting for him to respond for me a message. But he never responded to me the messages I sent to him since morning. Now, he claimed that Onion Du was kidnapped, that the leadership did not know about it. My response to him first was, why did your Simon not tell you that, that because he was in communication with Matanga, even when interviewing Onion Du in Kenya, and he was also aware that Onion Du was in Kenya. That was my first response to him. He became mad. He became very mad. You know he cannot insult me in my WhatsApp inbox. Of course, if he do so, I will block him. He decided to be, you know, civilized and uh, constructively, you know, trying to provoke me as well. Now, he wrote again, please be objective in your speech. You should sound reasonable and know that you are talking to a rational human being. You know the answer to my question, but instead of answering me, you beginning to call name. 
my brother i feel you you know i feel for people who do not know what life is all about many of you guys do not know how many lives they have lost on this struggle but take this from me every evil has expiry date of course i take it from you and i agree with you what is professor professor charles soludo doing now as anambra state governor you think you are taking talking to babies that's what he said you have a long you have a long way to go as a young man but yourself to study and develop love for truth your inability to answer me those questions speak much volume thank you and uh, thank you and my mother ed my mother ed treat you as you treat the struggle he say he say he say now i responded to him i know whom you are and i know that deep down your heart you know the truth and because you believe that you and simon are from the same place you believe remember when i say you believe he because he is from ebony he automatically because he very much told you people that he's from ebony he believed that him two of them came from the same place that is part of that was part of the research i did you know with him i found out that he's from ebony now he told you because you and him is from the same place now you want to you know start defend him defending him now at the end of it you know at the end of it you are ignorant to the truth now i sent i told him if you that is watching me right now let me say this again to you in general not referring to him only because if you call me on the inbox i will give you the same answer when Mazen Nam the Kano granted interview to Matanga in Kenya, I didn't know that he was in Kenya. It was after all these things happened that I discovered that Mazen Nam the Kano was in Kenya. I was actually discuss discussing with some group of activists during that time because I was I was not preaching Biafra. I was, you know, I, I, I was concentrating on African decolonization. Now, when these things happened, I decided to now zoom in to know exactly what is going on with our Biafra course. Now I discovered a lot of things. Now, when Mazen Namdekano was granting interview with Matanga and the Professor Lumumba, Simon Eba was aware of that because when you see a poster Simon will make, he will make a poster of him, Matanga, and the Professor Lumumba. True or false? Is it true or false? That is if you are truthful to your cause. You say you answer yourself that question. Whenever you see that, you know, he makes this poster, he make a poster all the time. He make a poster with the three of them. That was, I could imagine that that was the time Mazen Nam the Kano was in Kenya. And Simon was in communication with these people. Matanga, who granted interview, the last interview to Mazen Nam the Kano. After that last interview to Mazen Namdekan, we didn't hear from after Mazen Namdekan made a broadcast which he gave us a prayer to make 150 days to read some, was it some, he gave us a psalm to read, either Psalm 119, I, I can't remember which psalm was that he gave us to read. It's either Psalm 119 that he gave us to read. Uh, another, but I know that that was part of his last broadcast he made. After that broadcast, we did not hear from him again. While at that time, he was in communication 
with Matanga. While this guy, Simon Eba, was also in communication with Matanga, I'm Professor Mumba's secretary. Are you paying attention? Hello. Not only Matanga, Professor Lumumba's secretary. I hope you are hearing me. He was in communication with these people. So now, somebody now came to tell you he when this incident happened, after him and Kanon Takano discussion and disagreement, he came and said Kanon Takano had it for eight days, he'll keep quiet. Now he did not come and tell you that he knows that Mazen Namdekano was in Kenya. He was in communication with Matanga. He was in communication with the secretary of Lumumba. Rather, he told you that uh, Mazen Namdekano was, he is not supposed to be in Kenya and the DOS did not know about it. That it was the DOS who sold Mazen Namdekano. You will reason it. Because you don't know these things that I'm telling you now. Of course, you must have seen those posters that time, but you didn't pay attention. The reason why I was paying attention because I was a big fan of Lumumba. I was following Lumumba every step of the way. I was a big fan of Lumumba. As a young African decolonization activist. So that was the reason why I paid attention to all these things. So you need to ask him when he was making a poster for him, Matanga and Lumumba, how come he is in communication with these people who are still in Kenya, who interviewed Mazen Namdekano in Kenya? He was in communication with them and he came out to play victim that he does not know where Mazen Namdekano is. He came out and said, Mazen Namdekano couldn't have trusted them because he was a COVID-19 um, um, people who joined IPOB, that he could only trust the DOS. Then he came out and tell you after three months that Mazen Namdekano did not trust the DOS. That's why he didn't tell them that he was going to Kenya. All these videos are there. The exposition, I followed all these statements because I was following him bumper to bumper. I followed the criminal in order to solve them. Now, he said all those things. And tomorrow, one day, because you are from Abakeleke, come to tell me that by calling name of Simon, that is the reason why you know, you came to ask me stupid question in my inbox that I'm indicting myself. You know, I am going to call you again. You cheated. I will not call your full name, but you will be surprised if I call your full name. I will not call your full name. I know your full name. I know your full name, but you are from a Bonny State. I want you to use that you are from a Bonny State to know that I, you know, when I follow you, if I want to know things about you, I will know things about you. You are from Ebony State. You lived, you know, you are from Ebony State. You live in Abakeleke. You live in Abakeleke. Now, at the end of all these things, because you heard that this guy is from your hometown, is from your hometown, you heard, you don't even know where he came from. You don't even know if he's, he's, he's fathered by Janja with the fallen caliphate. You don't know these things, but all you know is that he is from your hometown. You have to defend him. And you don't want to show that you are autopilot. Coming to my page, pretending as if you are a neutral person. After one year of kidnap of our leader, you come to my page pretending neutral. As if me, that has been in the forefront of following the criminals, you are, uh, you know, I wouldn't recognize that you are autopilot to come and ask me that kind of stupid question that was asked a year ago. Only now you are waking up. Let's assume that you just woke up from your slumber. You didn't know these things that were happening all this while. Let's assume you just wake up. You never ask people who are awake, my femego. You know, let me you wake you up. I'm one egg, can you show the pagema?
Let us continue. Let us continue. I want you to continue to pay attention to this um, this experiment. Pay, pay very good attention. Nothing Kano Takano will say today that this is what Simon Eto has done to him. The same thing goes to Emmanuel Okano. If you ask him today, what has Simon Eto done to you? He will say nothing because there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. The, next, the highest thing they will say is that his platform, your platform will lose. I am not saying this for, for them to come to me. No. But I am saying this so that other people watching that have observed this whole struggle see the kidnap of our leader will know what has gone wrong. It breaks my heart. Hmm. It and breaks your heart. Do not know who is their enemy and who is not their enemy. Today, it is clear. Continue for the last one year, for the past one year, they continue to tell you Simon Ekba is not a member of IPO. Are you a for member? For the past one year, they tell you Nigeria government pays Simon Ekba money. The same people telling you that Nigeria government pays Simon Ekba money is calling Nigeria government to hold Simon Ekba responsible. They are calling the international community to hold Simon Ekba responsible. The exact thing Simon Ekba is doing today is what Mazen Namdekano have done. That is not what Mazen Namdekano did. Point of correction. And the fact that you ask, you know that we say that you the Nigeria government pay you money. And I want you to understand that in Nigeria politics there are different parties. And each party practices partisan politics. The one that favors them is the one they support. So when you want to use this narrative of saying that the same government you say that Simon Eba is, pay, is paying Simon Eba money. It's the same government that you are calling to, you know, hold Simon Eba accountable. Which is you are talking after rubbish. If there is anything you are doing in Biafra land, you must be held accountable. So whatever we, or the reason why we are being vocal about it is because to show to the world and the diplomatic world the free world that we are peaceful movement to show to the world that we are fighting to liberate the freedom of our nation not to kill our people just like you are to bringing people that is what you are doing the, to show to that diplomatic world this is exactly what how it is now, having come to this, you know, Niger the one you call Nigeria government that is paying you money, you know, when we talk about Nigeria government, Dave Omahi knows about your activities, true or false. You are working for Dave Omahi. Are you not? Now, if you are working for Dave Omahi under APC government, and then somebody from PDP who does not like Dev Omahi, we decide that the, there are these criminals who are being used by a Finland that Dev Umai is using to sabotage IPOB. Because he does not like Dev Umai, let me actually try to eliminate those people that he is using to kill people, you know. So don't even go there because you, when you try to bring that logic, it is utter rubbish. Nigeria government, they practice partisan politics. Partisan politics. Anything that is best for the business of your party is what they follow. So if we are talking about you being responsible or held accountable for your actions, we are saying it to the world. You are nobody for us to call anybody. You know, the most important thing is that you don't know that IPOB does not have time to you know to to try to stop you physically if i pob have time to try to stop you physically believe you me simon you will not bring the the, 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 the daylight in the, the next day 
I know you don't know what IPOB is made of. You don't know. And because you don't know, that is the reason why you will continue to yap rubbish. Because you, now, people believe that IPOB is a toothless, you know, it's, it's like we are not, we are toothless dog because of your activities. But let me remind them, they don't know what IPOB is made of. Regardless of where you are, if IPOB decided to decide today now to look for Simon Epa, believe you me, believe you me. <laughs> Let me reserve that comment. It is for security purpose. It is for security purpose. But bear in mind that IPOB is not, does not have your time physically. It is we the media warrior that you know we are exposing you waiting for the time the ipob leadership will have your time and because you noticed yesterday that they did not have your time rather they are sending messages to international community which they have been working with in order to you know you know to actually bring the release of mazen namdekano to make them know that you are not part of what we are doing for you, for the sake of all your atrocities and your stupidity. But I swear to you, and I believe you me, if IPOB decided today that they want to look for this puppy in Finland, believe you me, it will not take 48 hours. It will not take 48 hours to find you. And make you pay for your crimes. And what you don't know is bigger than you, indeed. So let us not go there. Let us just put it the way it is. When they have your time, you will know. Because all this blabbering that you are making, believing that all this your juju man that you are using to use them to deceive our people, to make our people to blindly enriching you while you are using some of the money to go and use it and do juju for them. Believe you me. It is actually, you know, what is making your head big. That is the reason why you open your mouth. You say you are in on it. But evil blesses sacrament doesn't ask, okay? Now, I laugh on the mud under Christianity. Well, in the past, on the Nigerian and Kendi Bedi be purely a purely in a bed. If you are born, I can give an air for your media warrior on the pastor. The pastor on that go at the end of that. If you are quiet at Nibuni, then I put nine in on it and I so what to what to what to what to and the Nando men and I would do a melodia. The one to wear melodia. I'll consult in Ege Boku. You need to know where you belong. That is how it is. So it is no no, my brother. It is no no. The fact is that there is only one thing that is making the leadership not to have your time. If that thing happens. When the leadership have your time, the whole world will know that IPOB, we are not into child play. We don't, it doesn't occur well with sabotoir in our midst. You don't have idea. Let us continue. Listen to him after, just listen to him for a few seconds. Let's just migrate to the main exposition that I want to make on him. The reason why they sold him, okay. They collected money. And so everything you see them accusing somebody is what they have done. So today, the way Simon Ekpa is going for this Biafra struggle, to them, Simon Ekpa is committing crime. You are committing crime. You are a criminal. They pretend to be working with him. And they sold him in Kenya. They you will know she Who sold him in Kenya? You. As that is not enough, those who are not 
Don't forget, like I told you, who knew that he was in Kenya? Simon eh, Banelli of Ebu, Bridget. Because uh, Bridget Oyibo, let me actually tell you, Oyibo, first of all, brought 10,000 into the IPOB. Oyibo, you see, Oyibo Nelly Simon brought 10,000 into IPOB. After bringing 10,000 into IPOB, which he made, he used to come close. When Mazen Nam the Kano launched the ESN, Oyubo you see brought hundred, you know, hundred thousand dollars. What I'm talking about is talk dollars. Ego bear. Get off here. Put um, get off for president in America. Whoever. He brought ten thousand dollars first. He brought ten thousand dollars. Second, she brought hundred thousand dollars to use it to buy the strong dream. She used it to enter the struggle. When the people who showed the statistics of Oyibo, you know, gross income, that her gross income, okay, it's not Donald Trump. It go be Trump. Yes, yeah, it's not Donald Trump. He used, has, according to the statistics, they said that her gross income is not up to $10,000. When we talk about gross, when you remove every other thing, then you get net. Gross is bit different from net. Remember that gross, you have to pay your tax. You have to pay one or two things. You know, gross is before deductions. Her gross income. Now, if she pay her tax, pay her mortgage, pay her, if, if she have, uh, um, you know, other uh, stuff, her clothing, her shopping, uh, her cars, she pays, she should pay all these things. How is she going to, okay, now, when I did the calculations, according to my, the statistics, I actually evaluated her with. I did the calculation, I found out that her net income or uh, I will say that after expenditure, every she will be having in her pocket three thousand dollars or two point five dollars because now she has to pay her employees. She must pay her employees from that ten thousand dollars. She will pay her employees now. Now that ten thousand dollars is not actually her 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 net um, her gross income. Because if you if she pay her employees now she brought ten she brought hundred the same Oyibo that you started working with with Nelly or Febu all of them where did they get that money from from the politicians of course because Fabo won Fabo they are women they got those money from politicians when her net. Is less than three thousand dollars. Where did she get hundred thousand dollars? Where did she get um, ten thousand dollars to give and give hundred thousand dollars, which is hundred and ten thousand dollars? And all these people were the people who backed this person up, this guy up, and they started manipulating, trying to hijack ESN. That was the reason why Oyubo came into the account of ESN because of that money he brought. She brought rather. She was, that's when they started managing the account of ESN, yes? Now, the same person you have worked with them, these people never mean any good. They were politicians. Nelly Ofebu was a member of PDP. She was a member of PDP. Of Emo Bridget was also a politician in Nigeria. And if you listen to the last exposition that we were talking about, and Ave, uh, is it Ad Avid and, uh, and uh, Aved or whatever, you will understand what she does not want that woman to talk about. That exposition, there was something she does not want that woman to expose. That the Aved is the one working with the politicians. While the Avid was the original people whom supposed to, whom I've I've or what I don't know how they but one of them they separated from the original one working with politicians trying to uh, siphon money from the you know US in order to enrich themselves 
that the Berima is working with them. That is the reason why she keeps telling you that woman that was that called into her program, his program to say, ask me about government in exile. Don't ask me about Aved and Avi. Because he knows that these are this. That is, when you talk about congressman, when that congressman came to his platform, these were Nigeria politicians or Hanez and Debo. These were people that this guy is having his loyalty to and is working with them. And these people, they never believe in philosophy of Mazen Namdekano. And you will tell me that this guy is genuine. You know, if I must tell you, I have no reason to actually try to talk about this guy, but I have love for my freedom, for the freedom of my children. I have love for, for that. I don't want my children to continue to run away the same way I ran away from that contraption. So that is the reason why I don't have personal issues with this guy. But I don't like people who want to come in to use psychology and the manipulation to deceive the people and the claim that they are innocent while they are the criminal. No, I don't like that. It doesn't, it doesn't all go well with me. I give honor to those whom honor is due. I obey the last command. That is discipline. That is me. I can never try to ripple from where I did not sow. I can never try to fight on Akonya Before I started this, I told you that I consulted with Mazen Namdekano before I started exposing exposition with this guy because I was actually following him and supporting his seat at home in 2021. But when I saw his activities, I said, no, nah, let me actually try to consult with Mazen Namdekano before I will know what is going on. I did it. And at the end of the day, this guy, every day he is coming to tell you different stories, twisting his lies, telling you he's in charge of ESN, telling you that uh, the leadership does, that the Biafra has left the leadership, that, and you, if, you know, you are proud to listen to him. When Mazen Namdekano told you that the DOS, this leadership is the structure he created, and we must respect and support it and defend it jealously and you you claim that you are in line with Mazen Namdekano's orders and you are following this guy you are a criminal you are a criminal in as much as he is you are as well let me take you to the, the exposition that I want to make today let me take you to that exposition that I want to make today. Let me actually find out if I will be able to. And they have used you to blackmail someone after I'm telling you today, go and mark it. After that, you can write to UN, you can write to America. You can write to Israel, you can write to Germany, you can write to any, any place you want. Let them come and arrest Simon Like I told you, the reason why he is saying this is because he noticed from the exposition that T.K. Dozier made last night that he does not have time for this if live. That is the reason why he started bragging. He started bragging. He actually excelled. You know what is excelled? When he noticed after that broadcast, he exhaled, you know, and say, so these people are not even after me. Now I will uh, let me continue. You know, that was the reason why he's now start bragging. You know, you can use international communities and the international world, free world. They don't use your barbaric. If you are under investigation, you will not know. 
if he, if you know the thing there is that the reason why he is making it vocal telling you because he knows that there are many of you who does not understand how the law works in the free world you don't understand how the law works in the free world that is the reason why he is on you know he is actually you know trying to be to be what he is not he's trying to be you know claim to be audacious in doing what he is doing by telling you if you like you go to israel if you like you go to that if you like you go there but one of these places he called only one whistle if you blow it he's gone but IPOB does not have that time. His time, what we continue to do is focusing on releasing our leader. Our leader, on focusing on releasing our leader in the PSS dungeon, which is the legal process proceedings is there in place. You know, diplomatic moves is there in place. Every other move is there in place that him, you never ask him, since he claimed that the DOS sold our leader, what plans have you put in place to release that our leader to come and say, tell us who sold him? Rather, you are trying to tell us that you are doing what he did. And you are trying to tell us that you will get us Biafra before our leader come out. You are trying to tell us, you are trying to make it public, make it even open that you are trying to take the position of our leader. That is exactly what you are trying to say. And that is exactly what you are doing. That the Fule Vumuoko Kona Marife will not understand it. Some of them will say that they paid me. Can you pay me? How much do you have? Only believe. How much do you have? You paid me. And that go any hard recharge card if I be in a comment section and the rubbish. Everyone keep in mind. Mad people everywhere. Now, I am now telling you. I am now trying to bring it to your notice that this guy does not have lawyer to go for any diplomatic move on behalf of Mazen Namdekano. He does not have lawyer to go for the release of Mazen Namdekano in Nigeria. He does not have any legal team, legal process, diplomatic process. Rather, he will organize some onyago in Finland, telling you that he want to, he want to submit a memorandum that some of his bloggers say that he want to submit the referendum document to Finland. Um, to Finland Parliament. Then I I managed to get contact to the Speaker of Finland Parliament, the you know the assistant of the Speaker of Finland Parliament. And I ask you if you want to call to find out if there is anything like that in Finnish Parliament. Then you know you contact me. I give you a number to call. None of you did. None of you did because no you don't like to do your investigation. When somebody do investigation and present to you, you will back, take a recharge card from your, your slave masters. You come to comment section writing rubbish. That is what even you find people you believe they are adult, they take a recharge card writing rubbish in the comment section. You will be wondering. Hey, is this this is this people really Biafrans? Because we Biafran people we use eye contact to communicate. We know I All this mixed blood is the reason why Mazen Nam the Kanu say that we are going to do a DNA when Biafra comes. And I support him 100 percent to know exactly what is going on. Now let us go to this um you know i don't know if okay he's finished bragging because the leadership called his name he finished bragging he is now bragging that you can go to united Nations, you can go to uh, israel <laughs> what are clear who are gone <laughs> but when the leadership decide to do those process you want you wouldn't feel it you wouldn't hear it you will feel it you will feel it 
believe you me. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, IPOB, IPOB, did this too much until I made my research. But of course, you will yet to find out what is going on. But let him continue to rant on social media. Let him continue to rant on social media. By the time he is done ranting on social media, you know, you will realize whenever he finishes rant on social media, then you will realize that you know it is not those that is a saying, but let it continue going to school first by the time. And don't forget this. Don't forget this. By the, let me get that video of uh, the one I want to expose. While you are holding on to this one, let me get. Thank that. you. Uh, so as a Kubor, the only thing I'm telling you, I'm not come here to attack you, and I'm not come here to blackmail you because I will not blackmail anybody that have done nothing to me. I will not blackmail you. Your anger, I understand it because it is happening to me. So in the same way I am feeling is the same way you are feeling. So I have not, so I have not come here to attack Asari Dukubo. Tell Asari Dukubo the first time in the history of this struggle that I have come and addressed his concern and I did not attack him. And let him not attack autopilot. Tell him that autopilot are not the one that attacking him. Tell him that any day you want to address these people, you should address them properly. Address them like illiterate, IPOP, DOS criminals, and they are Iran. Autopilots are different people. And that bloated pig, always talking rubbish and spitting everywhere. That pig is like another Afonja in our land. That pig, that pig is an agent of darkness in our land. Saying it and mentioning names, as I kept saying, that's the pig God has read up for that I gave money to from inside the prison because he has no shame. From inside the prison, I gave that he 20 million naira. I was in prison, he was so poor. I gave him a right for him to be given 20 million. Our men went to watch that same bloated pig went and called the DSS to come arrest my men. You know what? I didn't get the money to do that. They took my motion. Did I give you money or not? I was in prison. I have placed the prison in Kotonou in your house. In With our men, my men. Zoo. 
You're not ashamed of yourself. You're coming out of So now, <coughs> now I am going to remove this one and I am going to bring this one. Let us now listen to this one for you to now understand because after this one, I will take some calls. We we'll call it a day. Few things, especially where he talked about Ikonso. Listen. Let's see. I think the voice is not coming out clear. Now, listen. Who is the mastermind of Ecosystem? I don't know if you are hearing his voice. If you are hearing his voice, confirm for me that his voice is coming out. The voice of a very man. And of course, the person that he is using to kill, we have come to know you. Okay. And those who may know you, they will hear your name today. Okay. So, and of course, it is going to also be a warning after the notice of the world that should be case anybody dies in equal source family. <laughs> Econ source family, you better be careful. Maybe Simon and his criminal is a uh, is up for you because now, now okay. I want you to also pay attention to the people how the one they call Wangwere, the involvement of Wangwere, Wangwere called Dalenti, his involvement in coordinating the hitman Ochina Samoro, his involvement. And of course, um, some of you know, you know, nothing is hidden in this struggle. If you think you are going to commit atrocities and go away with it, you will be disappointed. Now, I want everybody to listen to how China Samoro plan and kill our people. Of course, that was in the past. Rise again. We will tell him that uh, also in his vein, blood runs in it. <laughs> this agitation hey, is taking. It may be an argument where. You can't kill your friends. Hi, you are using the brain of our That's people. That's why we are here. Hi. You can't. You can't kill the Afans again. Wow. Of course, what you just heard now, before he come to wait, it is him trying to tell you, saying that, that there are people trying to kill 
somebody from Ikonso's family. Now I want you to watch spectacularly how he is going to expose himself. Because what is going to happen now is actually him trying to indict someone while indicting himself. Now pay very good attention to hear the story of how he narrated it when he was pay, you know when he was playing the voice notes. <laughs> you know, you know where I always you know try to use is when the voice note you are playing work against you. <laughs> Whatever it works against you is where I am always you know trying to use. I don't, I don't try to listen to it in the name of listening sake, but I want you to pay very good attention to this voice, what he is saying in this voice. Pay attention. So I want everybody to listen and pay attention very, very attentively. I don't know if you are listening to this. The voice is very, very low. So put it in your ears. The name of Ikonso brother to one of his hitmen called Ejima. Ejima, whoever you are and wherever you are, is very, very... So, brother, today after this broadcast will be the last day you are going to kill Ochina Saburu in Biafra for now. Listen, okay. listen. After this broadcast, today will be the last day you will kill. You will use gun or machete to kill a Biafra for China Saburu. I want everybody to listen. Gina Samoru claimed that Ikonso brother snatched car, stole car from somebody. Listen to that voice. Listen to that voice. Don't all is what he's saying. I want you to pay attention to that voice. That he, that is. Who knows nothing about stolen car. But you know what they do is that they will, you know, they will tell the person that is going to kill that. The person is, the person kidnapped, the person kidnapped. All this thing that you are hearing from him, just pay attention to the voice that he is playing. When you don't pay attention to the voice that he's playing, then you will understand the maneuver. <laughs> you will understand the, the secret or the real truth behind what he is saying. Pay very good attention to the voice so that you don't miss it. Pay very good attention. Listen. Or the person is not calm or something like that. You know, they have to tell you something. They have to say something. Okay. Listen. Because the, the, the people that, for a Jima is a human being. So, um, um, whoever that a Jima is, Jina Samoru gave order for a Jima to kill Ikonso brother. I want you to understand that after Jina Samoru 
masterminded the killing of Yuko Son by revealing just the way they did to Mazin Abikan. Now they are feeling threatened because. Remember, if you don't know anything about this, remember from the beginning, this guy, according to what he is saying, you will understand that the family of Ikonso, he went into the family of Ikonso, trying to manipulate the family of Ikonso to, to say that it was Tina Samoru or Biafrans or IPOB, who ordered the death or execution of Ikonso. But now, I know that so many of you must have seen the, in, the program that was, you know, granted by Ikenga today, when the Ikonso brother was telling you how hope was on them, and the people of our mama, we are against the consul because Hope Uzorema called the consul to become a Bubago commander. I don't know if you people are listening. Now you come back to it. Where did you hear it? Where did you hear it? You heard it from the Econsor's brother. Where did you hear it? You heard it from Econsor's brother, not from Ami or any or POB. That Econsor brother told you how. They are looking for his brother because he hopes or didn't job wanted the consul to be the heat man of this Ebu Bartolo that is killing our people today because he refused and embraced IPOB. Hopes or ma and his village people killed the consul by selling the consul out and they killed him because he consul our that's why i told you from the beginning ebubagu is a fraternity ebubagu all these people you find in ebubagu they are fraternity and you will help me to know or you will agree with me that all the fraternities in biafra land they fight amongst one another so Ebubagu used the upper hand of them being fraternity and working for the government, killing anybody who is not a member of their fraternity. That is the reason why, because they know that the consul is a strong man in our mama. They called him to head Ebubagu. He refused because he saw the light. In the course of a Biafra restoration, he decided to embrace Biafra restoration that he has worked for politicians before, but does not make him that when he saw the light of Biafra, he saw that Mazen Nam the Kano was genuine to the cause. He embraced Mazen Nam the Kano and he worked with Mazen Nam the Kano. They got jealous because they know his kind of person. They decided to eliminate him. The politicians that was using him, they decided to eliminate him for denouncing them. Of course, you know the way the criminal groups, syndicates in Nigeria, they work. If you cease to be, you know, if there is anything you are doing for these politicians, you cease not to do it anymore. Of course, you will be eliminated. That was the what I learned from what the story Econsor's brother said this morning. And to know that it is his village people. Some of them are traditional rulers. Some of them were people Econsor helped. They were the people who planned the execution of Econsor. And this criminal in Finland is here telling you that Tina Samoru he brainwashed many people with regards to this killer squad. He brainwashed many people about it. And at the end of all these things, you will agree with me that this guy right in front of your screen that is yapping rubbish, 
trying to tell you what does not exist, which you are going to find out if you continue to pay attention to the video or to the voice that he is playing. You will find out where he contradicted himself. Pay attention. I am going to run it through because we have a we are running out of time before we if we are going to take call, we take one or two calls, we'll call it a day. Listen. There are still men who make us us happy. Because the point is that he can never be hidden. The truth will come out one day. So China Sangoru is looking for a way, all means to eliminate the cause of fact. But you know, God has exposed them. This one didn't work out. This particular execution order from China Sangoru didn't work out. Listen. Daddy Ejima, who China Sangoru have ordered to kill, the Spirit of God entered him. Mm. And he began to talk. Well, let's hear from him now. Let's hear from China him. Sangoru now. gave him the name of Ikos brother to kill. Let's hear from him, dude. So I want you people to listen to this audio. Mm. And they were asking the Jima, why do you people plan to start killing Ikonso's brother? While Ikonso was alive, did Ikonso have any problem? Do you people have any problem with Ikonso? The Jima said no. But of course, Play the video, dude. Play the video and stop talking rubbish. Play the vi play the voice. Let us hear the voice. I believe you, and believe you me, I swear to you, this guy didn't do anything, he enriching himself. This guy is claiming he made an alliance with BNL, BNG. All these things, it will come to the public to see if it is indeed the truth. There is nothing that this guy did to the struggle. He never did anything, rather to, he has stolen many things from the struggle. And his propaganda and conspiracy is causing the struggle a lot. That is the reason why people of my caliber decided that I will descend on this Eberima. I will descend on him because he is a liar, he's a cheat, he's a deceiver, he's a manipulator. That's what he is. Now, let us continue. Let us continue. I want you to hear from the voice. Let him play the voice so that we will now run it from whoever that he presented playing this voice. Let's hear from him. They are shouting and nobody listening to them. Because the blood of our men that Tina Sawuru have shedded are chasing after them. I want you to listen. Uh, guys. And the, the person is telling them, in all these things, all of you, Ikoso has never betrayed any of you. Why would 
do you want to wipe away Nico's husband? Or is it because Nico's is no more? That's why you want to kill all his relatives? Somebody say calling his brother's name. His brother is not in, in well, you know, does doesn't our leader have brother? Doesn't our leader have brothers? What well, you know, what has a uh, Nico saw having brother got to do with uh, what Nico saw was doing for Biafra? <laughs> or if you are fighting for Biafra, you should not have brother again in Nigeria. So where is your own brother? Where is your own brother? Why don't you call the name of where you come from? You cannot call the name of where you come from. But you are busy talking rubbish, mentioning people's name online. Why don't you tell us where you come from? Since it is because you are fighting for freedom. And uh, you, are, you will have a brother. And you are mentioning Mazen Nam the Kano's brothers and siblings. Why don't you mention your own brother? Or is it a, is it a problem if you mention your own brother? You can't mention them, or you saying that since because you are fighting for freedom, uh, you can't uh, mention the name of your brother. Why don't you mention your own brother, Simon? Or don't you have brothers or siblings? Why are, for you to see how selfish and self-centered this guy is, he's telling you, Mazen Nam the Khan, is he not his brothers? Where is your own brother? Spokesperson, this spokesperson, where is your own family? Where do you come from? Who is your father or who fathered your father? But you are here telling us he, um, somebody commented. Somebody is telling you that you are giving the enemy the, the names of these people, you know, that you claim that they want to kill. You claiming they want to kill this person. You are now giving the enemy the names of this person. The same DSS. They are giving them the name. But you yourself, you have, even though you have put yourself in a place of Mazen Nam the Kano, by telling us that you are doing what Mazen Nam the Kano did, you are forgetting that Mazen Nam the Kano will always tell us that he is from Afaruki Beku. That he is from Afaruki Beku. And we, we checked, we find out that he is from Afaruki Beku. I am judging you based on you saying that you are a spokesperson and you are doing what Mazen Nam the Kano has done. I've done. Now you are, he's from Afarupi Bek. He is a prince. We find out he's a prince. We found his siblings. You, where do you come from? Who fathered you or who fathered your father? Is that not Fulani? No, if it is not, tell us. Tell us. You are hiding your own. We are exposing other people, but you say you have a good heart. In a, are you paying attention? Are you listening? Are you following the, the rhythm? So that, uh, you know, uh, it's not me saying it, though. you heard it yourself. Let us continue. Let us continue. So I'm going to go to the cause. Has anybody killed him? So what is wrong with you? You call some brother is not in Koso. You call some brother is not involved in Biafra. Biafra thing. So why would uh, somebody be afraid? Of mentioning Ikoso's brother. But you know, one thing is that the people that killed Ikoso are not resting. They are scared that somebody is going to rise up when they know the truth from Ikoso's family. So they are bent, hell bent to eliminate them. But it is late. That can never happen again. I want to be able to listen. Did you hear that? That somebody a bulu moto punyo le moto boss. Attack is there an open one nay console. 
<laughs> I don't know if you heard that part. Or should I rewind it for you to hear that part? Did you see how a Perima became so, you know, or you didn't say anything? He's now articulating, brainstorming to see how he is going to navigate this one because he took gear. He don't choke him. Are you listening? In a pay attention. Are you paying attention? Because now listen. He said, "Ebunyonya moto, obulu moto le boso." one Did you hear what is going on there? So there was a crime scene. There was a crime. <laughs> he didn't talk about the crime. He is talking about how he is actually trying to, you know, tell you, instigate somebody. He's trying to instigate somebody, forgetting that there is a crime in between. Now, let me rewind it a bit for you to listen to it very well. And you, you pay attention to his body language. When he heard about the Butemote, Bunezia, or Leboso, Attack is there and all one name. Listen to it very well. Then you will hear what I'm talking about. Ikoso brother is not in Koso. Ikoso brother is not involved with Yafra. Yafra did. So why would uh, somebody be afraid of mentioning Ikoso's brother? But you know, one thing is that the people that killed Ikoso are not resting. They are scared. That somebody is going to rise up when they know the truth from Ikoso's family. So they are bent, hell bent to eliminate them. But it is late. That can never happen again. I want you to listen. Now, for you to know there is something going on here. <laughs> now, I want you to pay attention to his facial expression. Immediately when he saw, he heard that a bullia moto, a bullia tag, a bullia bogos, a tag is there on one name. Now, it means that there is somebody named, you know, whichever name he mentioned, that that person was given a card. This person was the one they are looking for. He now target that no one need consult. You know, and that person sent him this video without him listening to it. He brought it. It happens sometimes, but that is how, you know, where we capitalize on to catch a criminal. It happens sometimes. You have seen evidence. I will use it to, to you know, I will use it to blackmail China somewhere. I will use this evidence to blackmail China somewhere. Then you, you know, you engage. Now, the person who stole car and went and sold somebody's car and ran away. Is that person not a criminal? That is the reason, the way that how many people will be telling you, we don't condone criminality regardless of whom it is. Now, if somebody is caught in the act of criminality in Biafra land, regardless of whom catch them, as long as they are criminal, they must answer for their crime. We don't condone criminality. We are IPOB fighting a just cause. Anybody who use the name of IPOB to go and do criminality, that person must be apprehended. And now... I want you to listen, look at his facial expression. Immediately when he heard that part, that the bunya moto bulule bonagoso, I want you to listen to the facial but expression. Know, one thing is that the people that killed Ikonso are not resting. They are scared that somebody is going to rise up when they know the truth from Ikonso's family. So they are bent, hell bent. To eliminate them but it is late that can never happen again listen i want to be able to listen
Did you see the facial expression? Nebul moto bunya mado. The guy le moto follow us. The guy le moto follow us. Ana choose the guy. Ana choose the guy. Na choose the guy le moto follow us. Ebeli ma we now bring it into his platform that the, the people who kill in Konso. They are not resting. They want to kill again. Now he's not telling you that there was a person able to remote to bull a boss and a chop, which he now redirected it to say that it is one knee console. He redirected it to say it is the console's brother. It is the saying and the doing of a very man. And you know, he said that now it is one knee console that they are looking for. Maybe because they share the same name. He said it is one knee console. You know, I, I hope you saw the facial expression, how disappointed. But as a, a smart, uh, in fact, as a as a criminal he is, not me not put smart there. He now tried to, you know, overwrite it. Continue. What's the smack on his face? What's this you mark? Know, so Chino Sadi, the criminal, is hmm. now the one policing every, you know, of course, you know, this was then. Now, whenever you say, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you will understand that Nolu Jogo, you don't mess up. That is the reason why now he say, you know, you know, you know, you know, because he knows that what he, this is a, this is a mission fail that he did there. That somebody stole a car, a bunya, a wuli, a lay, a volo, so they are looking for the same person who stole the car and sold it and ran away. They are looking for the same person. Then he slacked. He didn't continue blackmailing. He slacked and he started telling you, you know, that the name of Yamoto Blue Bosso. We know that move. Well, let's continue. So this is a chima <laughs> that they will buy gun and give. Chima Samoru will send you money from Kuwait. Hmm. I be open for those idiots. Some of the idiots that is still He saw that he has override that path. That is the reason why he is now trying to now use confidence, you know, in order to tell you this is a chima, he will tell him to he will buy gun and give from Kuwait. Just to tell you, all this shenanigan is to make you believe that he is in charge of ESN for you to continue to donate money because it looks like it is a mission fail with BNL and BNG. It is a mission fail. Now he wants to build another way for you to believe he's in charge of ESN so that he will not have to take that is exactly what he's trying to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but let me reserve my comment. So in case if you want to call, the number is on the screen. I will take a few calls. You know, this is the same reason why this guy lied to you guys. Telling you that he is doing sit at home. He lied to you guys. Telling you that he did sit at home. That every place he was sitting at home in Biafra land. Now... You begin to ask yourself, how is it that the video of the sit at home or the picture of the sit at home they've been showing you is a video of <laughs> 18th of January 2022? The same video is the same video they are showing you on, on uh, in July. This is it. This is it. We are already having a call. We are already having a call. This is it. <laughs> this is laughable. Let me. This is it. The same video, just to show you, tell you that they are in charge of ESN, only to make you believe they are in charge of ESN. That is the reason why they are lying to you in this manner. They are deceiving you. 
Video of 18th of January, they showed it in, uh, in July or beginning of August, rather. They showed it to make you believe they are the ones. They, they call the shot in Biafra land. Why does he need to lie to make you believe he called the shot? Because he is running out of money. The caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Yeah. George Morning. Good, Good morning over here. Good morning. I hope my voice is coming out clear. Yeah, you're coming out clear. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Chisum. Oh. You are, you are doing a great job here for exposing him. Thank you very much. No, the problem is that my Facebook is my my page is dead. Facebook just blocked that page. They cannot. It doesn't have distribution anymore. They send me a message. They say the 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 page they can bring it down whenever they feel like. So you won't get a notification. You need to follow the new page. All right. Um, first and foremost is that our leader said something. He said people in diaspora should not call men on ground. Our leader has used that and dismissed many people. He will call, he will come in the public and do what and um, as the person to leave IPOP. So. For him now to come out, start claiming what he what he don't even know anything about. I'm very, very surprised to our people. I'm very, 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 very surprised to our people. As this time around, this guy is still talking and some people are still listening to him. It pains me a lot that this guy that does not know anything about IPOP. Does not know anything. Look at this calling to us a word. When they when they give a good song, our leader will there with us. Mm. Our leader is still there. Our leader is not yet kidnapped by them. Exactly. Our leader is there with us. Even even the ninety five percent of IP, we don't even know the work of China Sabol. It's true. Actually, even he don't even know the work of China Sabol. It's after when they kidnap our leader, they will not start. They will not start. That China Samuel is so 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 thin in the security. 85% of, of IP don't even know the jobs of China Samuel or the jobs of people in DOS. Just as the Nigerian Senate are, right? They didn't tell that this person is chairman of committee of this thing. What many people don't know, except they went on search. But IP will be going, it's not like Nigerian Senate that you can go online, you will start, start doing their portfolio. IPOB DOS and IPOB portfolio, we are silent. We don't know for public consumer. So for you to be putting claim on ESL is something that I don't even know how to start it. Something you don't even know. I don't know how to start it with him. One is not an IP. Yes, China Samoru said uh, um Chicken doesn't say it for the world to know. That we have nothing to do with him. When he commit anything, they should hold him. Yes. Whatever he commit, they should hold him. To tell the world that this is it. Uh, over 20 or 30 years in, in abroad. But the space of one year, the space of six months, seven months, it has changed car. <laughs> the, the white the white fence that our leader used. Is IPOB Malaysia got that white Benza for you? Benza for you. Oh. The other motor that our user leader is using is the family car. The white Benza, go and do, go and go and search. You will, you even search some of the broadcasts, will tell you that people in Malaysia bought it for you. So even the suit you wear is IPOB. I are doing it as gift for you. Then you ask him where did he get the money to buy a car in the space of, you know. Four months after my Zinam, the car was kidnapped. Yes, it's not even that close. How much you, you have come out and write to our people, you are a lawyer, you are a, a soldier man, you are, you are a military man, you are this, you are this, you are this. At the end of every lie you lie, people now understand that all the... You are not even anyone. And people are... Still you. you know why I know that our 
people, our people cannot even understand. It's during, it's during, it's during uh, our country bro, and the uh, and whatever. When the father and one were, when the father and one was the uh, senior president, they come out the father and one. Okanibu come after Okanibu. This is how our people start doing in Senate. Now rubbish themselves. That position of Senate in Southeast, in where we came from today, they, they can never get that position again. If at all, there will be anything like Nigeria. They can never get that position again. This is what they are. Anywhere you see our people, they keep on trying for position. They keep on dragging for position. What are you dragging this position for? What do you want to do with this position? That's why you see anywhere you go, you see Ibo Union. After six months, they form another one. It's After three months, they form another one. Nobody wants to be under his brother. Nobody wants to listen for his brother. Every person. Can you imagine that? Then you're supposed to be the supposed to be the premier. You now step down. So that's what they want. And now when I'm being the, the, the and now when I'm being the other premier, and this one now came out to, to be in the centre. Who can do that in our place? To show that to show that brotherhood. Who can do that one? When I know where you be, you do best, you can do best here. I will wait for you and support you. I ask you to go ahead. Then I will be supporting you. Nobody know who is doing the job. But our own people they will try to run you down. He's calling he's calling Khan Hunter now because Khan Hunter may Khan Hunter may agree with him. Because Khan Hunter don't have any platform. I do understand because platform are platform on that run. I'm going to go around. Anytime, anytime they miss their flights, you come to the you, know, you come to the second option. This is the second option and the last option. You come there for for the one to use you. And when the use you, because they can use you, we use the person. If it if it change that they cannot have paid any money for the person, you will not use the person. It's true. If Kano don't even have any information again, Kano don't even have any information again. Even even a uh, uh, fine boy that fine boy will go there. You know, whenever they are talking with our leader, DSS are there. They don't even give them, they don't even give them to one 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 inch privacy. To talk, to talk the secret with, 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 with the visitors. So there is no information you will get again. If from Canada, there will be no information you will get again. And there uh, is something of irony in, in the space of a time, people you have worked with for years, and you are taking brotherhood, this is a brother to our leader. That's why you are following somebody with that portfolio. When you are working as the DOS in your own department, you have people that work under you. When you come, you represent the finance department in DOS. You have many people in Asia. You have all over the world that under you, working under you. And you show yourself, bring yourself so down that you hope you in the high. What does it show? The full amount of that portfolio. Our leader disappeared for almost a year plus, and most the DOS know where he is, but they never come out one day to make it public. The DOS and every one of us were demanding, if you have killed our leader, give us the dead body, let's go and bury. That is a place we are we are looking for. It. Bring him for us. It's true. That was our demand. That was our demand. There was never like a very man Finland or Yibo or Azoka or Nelly. They didn't know about that time. That's what I'm saying. The, the same DOS, the same people, the same people, they want everything secret. Even how our leader managed to come to, to, to Israel. They have never made it open. Do you wonder our leader now trying to tell us a little thing how he takes me proof? He doesn't even open up because he cannot open it all for every person. I can understand. Mm. We have fought with it. All of them has come to their new. So who is this Eperima? I keep on saying this dwarf. Who is he? Can't he go ours? You know why? You know why he still fetch me? He said he doesn't have shame. Okay. We have got him red handed. He will find way to twist himself. Somebody that don't have shame. Somebody that don't even think about his own family tomorrow. I don't think that this guy has a family. When you're waking, when you're one hour somewhere, never exist. People do die and come out and start existing. Because I haven't had where he called one community where he came from. 
or call the real name of his father, or who father you who father his father. Mm. He has never declared himself that he came from. We keep on hearing he came from a boy. Anybody can come from a boy. Anybody can come from a boy. Anybody can. You can. You can have your children in a boy. They will be speaking a boy. Frequently, they will be speaking a frequently. I can understand. Where I was born in Benin State, I speak the language. Speaking other other many languages from that place. Only I want you one. I this guy has. Hey, you went to confuse many people. That Adam, he, that Adam, he, he want to go for the entrance. Adam is the name of that in song. That uh, to, for you to see how this guy is. For long now, since he start playing this dirty job now, that Adam of his song, he don't bring him out again for sure. But before he used to bring that Adam for sure. He used to carry that boy and go for work. He used to carry that boy and go for work during weekend. Now it's not bringing that boy again out. For me to know that this guy is a poor criminal. Why is he hiding that child? Because he's afraid. Because all my not job all the cash are not job everywhere. That's why he's afraid. That's why he's afraid. Our leader has never put something what of how many. Our leader, even our leader will be very sure. Paying people house, paying people bill, hospital bill. You see a little girl that came to join IPOB. They asked her a question. Why do you came to join IPOB? You see the... She was, she, was, she was 11 when they killed his father. After when she came to be 13, she come in first road. That the same place, that unit that the father used to attend. I was watching this girl. I, I watch her. I start searching how can, how can we get, how can we get them? Before our leader now stop, because what that little girl did baffles me. She came for revenge, and people like this will want to joke with this movement. If that girl will come for revenge, how people like us that we have lost a lot of people, a lot of people that this, most of their thing concern us. Three people, it's not up to three people, in the same place, the mother of two. Hey, she today. If I use the unfortunately I go back home today, I will not see that lady again. Let that lady tell you the story the way it used to go to the bush and carry our injured brothers out to treat them and you 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 we be we be claiming what you think is you just doing it that he has wrong, just as you say that I claim you know not even having time for people like me having time. To play one day to jam in Indonesia. No, the, mid, the leadership, the leadership has, are, are very busy. The leadership are busy doing the needful. That's the reason why. Yeah, started up, but you see, I started up, but created his own group.
Oh. You can make it from UST with court boys. Start court, court is court is court is from UST. From UST for that court. You find a man trying to take him to Calabar. If he, his Calabar is where he went, he now converted to Muslim. You don't even finish. As a man drop out in second year after the year. For all everything you are seeing as a man drop out, second year law student. Second year law student. Hmm. So that is the kind of person. A very man came out and tell the world that almost every university in USA offer him scholarship. <laughs> I searched to find out I didn't see anything like that. That is the best that's here in this world. So that several universities in USA offer him. Maybe it is in the University of Criminality. I don't know if the University of Criminality exists in USA for them to offer him scholarship. And I remember definitely what you are talking about. I remember it. No, let them come out now. Let them come out. Uh, you know, let them come out. Then we will confirm that uh, if they come out, if they, you know, they come out and join him, it is a confirmation of the allegation they put on their heads that they sold their brother. So, but we will, we, we are waiting for them. I know that they won't be stupid. No, if he can wear the shoe of Mazen Namdekanu, why is he not telling us where he come from as Mazen Namdekanu did? And uh, before we proceed, um, 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 Mazen C2, I see you on the YouTube. I think I came straight to YouTube. I dropped the link on YouTube. I don't know. I couldn't drop it from the, the, from the app because I'm not using the previous one. So I dropped the link on YouTube. If you are still there, you pick it up. You want to join us for some minutes? Um, Mazi Chisom, please round up, round up, round up. Because okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm already, I'm already round up. Let other people come and their view. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you, thank you very much. Yeah, God bless you. You too. Just put that criminal on your show, John. I don't want to over the band there for. <laughs> so that is the way it is, you know. If you understand or if you remember when where we are talking about, uh, you know, why is he trying to deny? You don't want to talk about Avid and Avid. <laughs> Ask him, why is he running away from talking about Avid and Avid? You know, we will talk more about that one. We are going to talk more on that one whenever... You know, whenever it is when it is right time to talk about it, because you know, I I was I got some information about David and Aved yesterday. You know that you know all these things, but we we are going to talk about it. Let my let whatever I information I have, we'll let it actually 
mature. When it matures, we will continue. The color on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. You have uh, two and a half minutes. You are, you are listening device. Turn it down, please. Yes, I, yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Loud and clear. Stop listening from your listening device. Am I speaking on the platform of the US? <laughs> are you calling for the program or you are calling for the platform of DOS? You are call you are stop put down your listening device and listen from your phone, please. Yes, I want to know the platform on You are in every platform. It doesn't matter. You are following the program. Send me if you okay. Wait, wait, listen, listen before you continue with this. Your I sent you of your accent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope you want to continue. If you want to continue, let, let me in. Yes, um, the most important thing is that you are not calling with a, a Biafra number. And you you are calling definitely with a Kenyan number, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I don't know if it's Kenya or somewhere around Africa. Now you are telling me that you are in Imo State. You are from Imo State. You are witnessing what is going on in Imo State, but you are calling from it in an international number. So how are you witnessing from where you are? What was going on in Imo State, please? Wait, okay, okay. Since you said the man is not deceiving anybody, did you see the pictures that is making round on social media? No, I ask you a question. 
Yes or no? It is very simple. It is very simple. Yes or no? You are not on speaker. Did you see the picture that is making round on social media? Where he is showing us the sit at home that happened in January 18th, telling you that it was sit at home. No, you are not intelligent. That's why you are changing your intonation. You are a Biafran. You are changing intonation, trying to speak like a Senegal. You are not even. You are in Africa, but you are trying to speak like a Senegalese. So that's why you know you are you are unreal. Use your voice. Maybe if you use your voice, I will recognize who you are. Stop changing your voice. That makes you a real person. And that is the reason why you are supporting a real person. No, stop. I don't want... We are Biafrans, but why are you twanging? Why are you twanging? No, you are not telling me the fact. You, you are not in Nemo state, but you say you are observing. What type of lie is that? Is, is, are you okay? How are you not in Biafra land, but you are observing sit at home? No, now you, now you are changing the story. Now you are changing the story. I ask you, you are not in Biafra land, but you are observing it at home. Why? Okay, you are observing it where you are because you are autopilot or what? Why are all of you running away from autopilot? There is difference between Biafra led by Mazen Nam the Kano and autopilot led by the Berima in Finland, which all of you are championing so why are you telling us no 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 every time when i tell you you are autopilot you are denying it why are you denying it but but let me ask you something are you are you are you not a man are you not a man Are you a man? Why are you done talking like a woman? Why are you twanging? You trying to change your voice to be like a woman? Is it because you don't want want me to recognize whom you are, or you are trying to, you know, what are you trying to do by changing your voice? Or are you a common man? No, you came into my platform to lie. I don't lies doesn't go on. Lie doesn't go well with me because you came to lie. That's why I want to know you further. Why are you twanging? Why are you twanging? If your ancestral land shall be restored and you don't know how you are going to restore your ancestral land, it means that you are a fool. You don't know anything. You cannot read the handwriting on the wall, but if we ask you, are you autopilot? You say no, you are Biafran. Why are you running away from the platform you are supporting? Is that not making you a fool? I'm done talking to a fool. If you if you want to say that you are this person, you agree that you are that person. Why are you running out? You are autopilot. You observe the seat at home of autopilot from where you are. And you are telling me you are observing it in Imo state. For you to see how manipulative these people are, this set of people are. You know, if I didn't catch him that he's not in Biafra land, he is going to tell you that he is in a... He is in emo state. He is in emo state, but I cut him out. The caller on the line, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yes, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Good, good afternoon. Morning. I am an elder on that boat. My name is Ifaim Matthew Olega. Okay, go I'm ahead. Thank you for your exposure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. 
You see, you see what is going on now. At, at my age, I'm, I'm 60 plus, so and I'm under older, under Martin and Bikando, so I cannot see something that is not good, uh, something that is uh, that has been planted within us to destroy us, and we allow it to to carry on. Salmon Epa is more deadly than Asabe Dokubo. Salmon Epa came to this uh, 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 to join us. When he said he had the, the, the narrative of yesterday has to be changed. And if almost they have attacked him. And people didn't understand what was going on that time. Let's come to what happened to Ikonso. Martin Namikano as Supreme Leader was after he was without when the council was killed. I have never seen somebody who feels so pain when somebody died and when Martin Namikano come on air. To broadcast the death of Ikonso. He said it's 1,000 men in one, which means he knew Ikonso one on one. Ikonso was in the palace the day they came for Operation Python. That. Go back and watch that, uh, that this, uh, the, 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 the video. Ikonso was in the palace. Ikonso was one of the people that saved the life of our Supreme Leader. That was why he turned him. So Simon Epa is on the, his last day. When my leader was in mission to Nigeria, I was in the meeting with many of the people who be we all in the meeting as principal officer, and I asked them a question. This ESN you are forming now, is this under Martin and the kind or under who? They said they would, they would tell me later. I said people cannot tell me before that time they were not yet you know, expelled. Oliver was still and I just they were still zonal coordinators. Oliver was on the east. And that was for the center. They were still uh, uh, our zona coordinators. And I asked them that question. Then they came up to attack me. Madam, will you come to, to attack me? So I, I, what I did that, when they expelled them, I left that platform on my own because I'm under the boat. The people don't know what the boat means. You see, this time on Nepal, he, he wants to tell us that Marvin Namikan, as the supreme leader of indigenous people of Biafra, which the HO, the Antina Samura and uh, Manti Tiki, they, they were under him and he was with us when he goes to was killed. He said, Chairman, if I'm telling us that Martin Namdekalo as the leader he was part of the group that the death of the council. That's what he's saying. That's exactly what he's saying. He's not telling us that Martin Namdekalo was part of the people that, that you know, could now with the DOFS and the HO to kill the council. That's what he's telling us now. Mm. So anybody following this idiot, this boy, I saw the I saw the first Japan one. I survived it as a child. This boy will never never be forgiven. Can, we can leave ourselves to go to go to his uh, coastal region and do whatever he wants to do. You see, see Simon Eber. If we do not handle him the way we should, he's going to cause a lot of disorder. Is the woman this woman that like the colonel woman that I, 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 I was in the meeting with all of them? I know them. I know their voices. I have me at least, and I'm keeping record. Let us know the thing that you are the only one that have the access to Martin Africa. If Martin Africa is being released today, I will have access to that, and I call you and you speak with me. I will go to wherever he is, and he knows me one on one. Martin Africa knows me one on one. We and we will stay together. I call Carlota. So Carlota, I called him two days ago. I said, Carlota, anything you have to do with the Simon Africa, back off. Because we are all keeping our dots. And he told me he has never had anything to do with uh, for a very long time now with uh, uh, Simon Epa. Simon Epa is trying now to bring Kalanta into their own parts of because of the meeting the meeting Kalanta had with the uh, with uh with them. Simon Epa Simon Epa now tried to bring Kalanta into his own side so that when uh, when Fiber goes to see Martin Man the in the in the in the DSS dungeon, it's it's it's, it's Fiber that we feel Gives calendar information. So whatever the calendar takes, the calendar that is the information calendar is getting. Now, someone ever want to go back to calendar so that he be getting information. Yes. That was part of my leader to 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 find more to calendar, and it's not going to work. This is not going to work. Those that go to visit them because. Many action was to, to key fine board because when this is happened, many they approach uh, Valentine. I have a lot of information. That's why I'm not saying anything that the man in the concert. Yes. Many approach, many approach Valentine. Valentine refuses offer. But you not do that. You don't go against uh, uh, the DOS. And I called them to that. And I called him. They said that Valentine refused to listen to him. 
Then he, 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 he approached, the same way he approached Fireball. Fireball, Fireball, a warrior now. That was why he when he started calling Fireball, uh, full and boy, full and boy. Oh. The, the game of was a Navy, Navy and Nishan and Nipo was to kill Fireball, so that there was be nobody in between the family and, and us. Yes. The only information I can't find is getting a legal information is getting from Fireball and nothing more. And so that's why Sam Oliver is moving towards Canada back again. It's not going to work. It won't work. This one must be dead with. This one must be dead with. See this Sam Oliver. He must be dead to it. Definitely. He will never be forgiven. Thank you very much. <clears throat> that is the way it is. You know. You know, I don't, I don't have a problem with uh, Ndoto Pilot calling in on in case. I don't have a problem with you. But when you call in, be proud to call yourself autopilot. Then I will know whom I'm dealing with. I don't like chameleons. It doesn't go well with me with chameleons. As long as you are chameleons, I don't like you. The caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, go ahead. And, and your name? Yeah, I'm with Shalom. Shalom, please. Shalom. Yeah, with Kenna Shalom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, am I speaking with George Money? You are speaking with George Money. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Why is it that all the IPOB, IPOB, they will say we have been there for long. They are not after restoring the Afra. They are after being long. Is it being long we are cooking up or who will restore the Afra for us? We need our freedom. That our freedom is the most important thing to us. Not that who have been spent 10 years, 20 years on the struggle. It's not that, it's not what we need. Okay. I want to answer me the question. Is it, what, is it the, is it that what we need? Or who spent 10 years, 5 years on the struggle? Okay, before I answer you the question, we need the, okay, I will answer you the question, then I will ask you my own question. We need Biafrans. We need Bia we need Biafra, and we need Mazen Namdekan released because he's the pilot. Now, we and uh, my question is, what is the reason why you are asking me this question? Because I never, I don't remember telling myself that I, I have been there for years. So why are you asking me the question? Because yeah, it is because personal. Who is making you be understand that if you are not being years with them, you are you who is that? Like you, like your platform and other people's platform. They will say we have been there. We are the following man. Dude, can I can I hold it there? Hold it there. Hold it there. I don't tell people yeah. that I've been years. I haven't been years. Like I always tell people that you see why you how you people are always quoting somebody out of context. I always tell you that it was only when Mazen Nam the Kano was kidnapped that I zoomed in. I said it even here during my broadcast, of which that many people will attest to it, that I zoomed in to see what is going on. But I have been following, but I was not preaching Biafra. I was I am an African decolonization activist. I zoomed in to start talking about what we are talking about today because of uncertainties that I saw in IPOB. So why are you now telling me that we are talking about being here for 20 years or 30 years? You know? Not, not, not only you. This thing. No, you don't need to put me there. I haven't said that before. 
And the, so why are you putting me there? Many people don't even know me. You know, you yourself, you don't know me. For you to come and tell me that I said I've been there for years. You know, now, 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 wait first. Wait, let's clarify this one because you are lying against me. And uh, I, I don't like to, I wouldn't want you to lie against me and you are telling me listen to you because you called into my program. Number one is that you asked me a question. I said, we want Biafra. Then, okay. I started off recent, don't you know? I started off recent. Simon Epp, I even started before me. Or don't you know? Okay, Simon Epp started before me. Okay. Do you know where it's called up at that? I begin to know that when all these Okalu came to the full and they are they are terrorized the Biafra land. And from the coach, who would know the Lord Panda? And from there, it depends me a lot because we are the people experiencing this. Okay. You people are so what are you experiencing in that region? What? What are you experiencing there? I'm asking you what you are experiencing there. You, you know, I don't like people who don't like. Okay. No. Listen. Slow down. Slow down. Let's have a conversation. Slow down. I, I have not started fighting with you. And when I start, you will know. Now, what are you experiencing in your search? You know, is it a lot of banter you are talking about? What are you experiencing there? number okay thank you thank you i know about that now who is in charge of esn is he not autopilot who is in charge of esn is he not autopilot is it not what your 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 new leader told you that is in charge of esn so why are you asking me this question So why then, if it's China Samuel, what is the Berima telling you? What is your leader telling you? Simon Eba, what is he telling you? Since he, you heard it from those people, you believe it. And now you are supporting the man lying to you. Then if you are supporting the man lying to you, what are you insinuating right here? And we are having a conversation. Okay, now I am not reasonable enough. You are reasonable, and you assume you you understand you know that IPOB ESN is still under the leadership of Mazen Namdekan, which is the DOS. And the Simon every day come and tell you, don't raise fund, raise fund, you are raising. And now, when there is a casualties in the Afra land, which IPOB ESN is supposed to be there. You will call the people you are not paying their support, the people that has gone astray. Is something wrong with you? Are you okay? So, just money, the situation, the situation mass in Nazicano is in Nigeria saturation. Mass in Nazicano needs us more than we need them. So, if we need us, then why are you supporting the people who are sabotaging him? Do you follow do you follow a program or you come to a program to gossip? Do you know the reason why I'm following you? See, let me tell you this. I don't let me tell you this. I'm supporting autopilot. Thank you. I'm supporting autopilot. 
that is what I want to, and I know that, but I, I, I appreciate hearing it from you. And that is the reason why I am still listening to you. Okay, tell me the reason why you are supporting him. Simon Epa is great. Okay. Simon, Simon Epa is great. Okay. Simon Epa, if you, you, you need to think deeper. Sometimes Simon Epa will tell you what you don't know is bigger than you. You, you people don't have any evidence against Simon Epa. I've been expecting you people to bring evidence to convince me not to follow Simon Epa. Okay. Hold it there, hold it there. Wait, 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 no, let me not finish. Since one year, you have been talking of Simon Epa is a criminal. Bring out the evidence for me to believe that Simon Epa is a criminal. You are not. I, will you allow me to speak now? Will you allow me to speak now? All the DOS are criminals. Will you allow me to speak now or should I cut you off? You are you 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 told me. Will you keep quiet or should I mute you and speak and you will listen? So should I mute you and allow me for you to allow me to speak because now you are crossing your boundary and you are not allowing me to speak and that is the problem of you autopilot because some of you are ignorant and illiterate. Okay, why, if you know you trust Simon, eh, but who is telling you that he is a commander of ESN and is raising funds for ESN and no one is now listening to the leadership of the struggle? Why are you now telling us who are supporters of the DOS about what is happening in Law Banta? I need a simple answer. I don't want to I don't want you to, to make it long because that's why I'm keeping my question short so that you will give me a simple answer. You people, why I'm saying that you people are distracting them on their Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We are distracting him. I agree with you. No, don't repeat what you said before because other people will call in. Other people will call in. You know, you know, you know. Now you are pissing me off, and I have, I have. You are pissing me off, and I have muted you, and you will listen to me. If you speak, you are speaking to yourself. Now I ask you a simple question. You keep telling me we are distracting Simon Epa. How are we distracting Simon Epa? Who told you that he is your spokesperson? That the people are no longer listening to us. So if we are distracting him, we are distracting him with who? Now I, you say we are fighting each other. I muted you again. I heard that one and the whole world heard that one. We are fighting each other. Now you say that we have not had any evidence to show that Simon is a criminal and the lying to you people. What has been the evidence that Simon showed you people to show to say that when he said that the leadership Mazen Namdekanu told us to listen to Sold Mazen Namdekan. What was his evidence? Please tell us. I just want you to say it. I am unmuting you now to say it. If you if you if you digress, I will mute you again. Go ahead. Okay. When Nam Dekanu was kidnapped, Kano Takano was aware of that. Mm -hmm. He put it perfectly on him. That show, and you people have been working together with Kano Takano. Okay, hold on. Hold it there. Hold it there. You have said what you want to say. I'm meeting you again. Is Kano Takano a member of the DOS or any holding any position in IPOB? Or is Kano Takano a sibling to Mazen Nam Dekanu? Please answer me. Like 
No, I ask you a question, please. Answer me straight. When we get to, if you want to introduce a new topic, we go there. I am not like your master, Eberima in Finland, who will not allow you to talk. I want you to talk. Say your mind, but I want you to. Let's have a good conversation here. So, is Canon Takano, you are muted now. Is Canon Takano a member of the DOS? Or is Canon Takano a brother to Mazen Namde Kano? Please answer me that. No, I don't need your advice. I have muted you again. I just want you to answer me. You cannot come into my platform and start telling me what to use and what not to use. You came in, I have to give you a guideline to what I want and what I do not want. And I believe now you don't, you are no longer interested. You are there barking like a dog. No one is listening to you. I'm the only one. So I want you to answer me a simple question. Is Canon Takano a, ma, ma, a member of the DOS or is Canon Takano a Kano's family member? Just answer me that one if you want and don't give me a correction in my platform, please. Am I, why, how am I going to know whether Kano Takano is a member of the DOS? How am I going to know? Okay, I, I am muting you now because you don't know. Let me tell you. you, you how are you going to know? If he's a member of the OS. So, which means most of the things you are, you are believing from this Eberima in Finland is what you just heard, you did not try to find out. Or do you, or since you claim that we are supporting Canon Takano, are we supporting Canon Takano because he's a family member of Mazenam the Kano? Are we supporting him because he's a DOS? Of course, because he is a DOS. He's a member, in, oh, sorry, of course, because he's a member of Mazenam the Kano's family. Our loyalty is with Kano's family. We need to protect them while we are protecting the structure. So now, if Eberima in Finland was promoting that Kano Takano concealed information, and at the end of the day, Eberima in Finland, we did not know his the reason why he is saying that. Now, we are now following Canon Takano. Find out that the Canon Takano is not following the legacy of the brother. We do not have evidence to say that Canon Takano sold his brother. And that is the reason why we are not saying that. But we are saying the one we know. He is not respecting the legacy of the brother. And I, you know, if you wake me up tomorrow, I will still tell you he is not respecting the legacy of his brother, just like your Eberima in Finland. I know when I call him Eberima, he pays you to your bone marrow, but that is fine. When you create your own platform, you invite me over, you tell me what not to say. I wouldn't say so, but for now, he's still Eberima. So, for the fact that Canon Takano is not a member of the DOS, he's not a member of any, he is not a, a, you know, holding any position in IPOB. And then we are protecting him for the sake of Kano's family. So you find out, you find that as a wrong thing that we did. And at the end of the day, you call yourself a loyal follower of Mazen Namde Kano. I don't think so. I believe that you need to go and search yourself because all these things that Eberima told all of you, none of it, he gave you evidence. He just lied. Just like the exposition I was doing right now, he was lying, lying until he gets to the point they told you. He said that the DOS killed the consul. Mazen Namdekan was not out there when the consul died. I think um, your time is up. We are done talking to you. Um, we will talk again um, when we when um, somebody was calling as well. Uh, we have a lot of calls. Um, let's take that call. The person calling, you can call again. Let's take your call. If you know you are calling, call again. Let's take the call.
the color on the line, your name, and where you are calling from, please. Good evening. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm about all from Germany. I'm from the innocent. Huh? Okay, go ahead, innocent. Okay. What is the real problem among all these things that is happening against this person today, against this person tomorrow? This kind of struggle. I just struggle with me like this. It's not how. I imagine that the car no make was. He made one statement before. He said, anybody that knows what to do, what he can do to bring Biafra, that they should, the person should go on and do it. Okay. So if there is, if there is anybody that is not doing it right, it is something that. At the first place, everybody has to come together to become one umbrella and fight for this. So from there, if there is any problem, then we can ratify the problem. Okay, okay. okay. I... People, calling, people to, uh, calling people together and later, even as you are, I don't know where I belong to it. Like even in DOS or this, uh, um, their struggle is like it's divided into even four places. So it, it's not how to get this Biafra. We are not moving. It's like we are standing one place. You are who? You are who is standing one place? Uh, do you know why we are standing one place? No, you are who? Say you are standing one place. Don't say we. You. I'm not, I'm not standing one place. So why are you saying we are standing one place? Okay, thank you. Hold it there. Let's have a conversation because now um, you have come to the point that we need to have a conversation. Now, what made you think that the DOS, uh, the people Mazen Nam the Kano, handed over according to you? And uh, what made you to believe they don't know what to do, what they are doing? Okay, do you know why? You know why I made that statement? Tell me. We, we are Biafra, we are not fools. No one called you fool. We are, we are not, nobody, see, nobody, I'm just, I'm making a statement on my own, you know. So okay. You just have to listen. Uh, we are not, I like the question you asked me, we are not fools. How can, just like a president, for example, a president of a country, President of a country has been kidnapped, and there are on board the House of Reps, House of Assemblies, uh, Senate. Everybody just control. Nobody investigated what happens to the president. What we are doing is today we are losing, chasing people. Maybe if you have a special audit woman, they are asking you questions about finance. Nobody has told us, getting to one year plus, what happened to a whole president of a nation. Thank you. I'm just using president to refer this. Thank you. I, let's take this, your question, one, one after another. I, I saw your question. Uh -huh. Now, let me, let's get there. There is a question I want to use to answer you this question, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you and your father is walking on the road, right? And somebody came and stabbed the father on the chest. Will you go after the person who stabbed your father at the chest, or will you try to save your father first? Which one are you going to take on first? You have to answer my question first before you now ask me a question. No, a question no, I am giving you, I am answering your question. I want to answer your question yourself. I made it very easy for you. You see why? You see why all of you who are just you people, you people are not sincere. You know, problem you people have that mentality of Nigeria is still in all of you. 
So that to call yourself autopilot and the followers of um, all these people who are who are rebelling against this, you know, what Mazen Namde can give to us. I ask you a simple question to answer your question. You don't want to go for it. You are trying to be, you know, play smart here. You know, it is only, it is only, it is only your. No, I'm not playing smart. I use a simple narrative in order to answer your question. And now the ball is in your court to choose which one what you are going to pick up and i will give you a direct answer to your question and then, uh, my, bro my brother nobody uh, if yes, i'm telling you nobody 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 is a no one asks you you come then i will come with my own answer okay use narrative as you are explaining nobody is here you know what okay you are not a child right Mazenam de Kano, let me just succumb to you, you are, you are your own you know, argument. Let me succumb for the sake of me knowing what I am doing. Let me succumb to you because we are here to educate people like you. Now, you, you said that Mazenam de Kano um, was kidnapped. Nobody is able to solve the case and tell us who kidnapped him. Now, how do you want to solve a case to tell us who kidnapped Mazen Namdekano? Instead of saving Mazen Namdekano first, for him to help us to solve the case. Because even if we solve the case, are you going to believe it? So now that takes me to my question. When you and your father is walking on the road, somebody came, an anonymous person came and stabbed your father on the chest. And you are the only one there. Will you go after the person who stabbed your father at the chest or trying to save your father first? Please tell me. Are you having a network problem now? Are you there? Hello. Hello, hello, are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Please answer my question. Um, your question, huh? We don't have time. I, I have um, a lot of calls. Please answer my question. We have a lot of calls. The, the only thing is that uh, um, you people are not telling us the truth. And you people know what you people are doing. And I am going to cut you off because you are a fool. You know, I, I am going to cut you off because you are a fool. I don't talk to fools, foolish people. And I can, I, you are, you know, you are talking, but no one is listening to you. I'm the only one who can hear you right now. And the reason why I am hearing you only because you are a fool. You don't, you know, before you engage in a, in a, in a strategic argument, make sure that you are strategic. You know, make sure you are strategic because you being a stupid person and illiterate in Germany, you know, who lives in the Western world, but you don't know anything. It is a shame. I ask you a very simple question. You are running away from it to make you, to show you how stupid you are. And then you will be ranting and barking like a dog. No one is hearing you. Even me, I'm not hearing you, but I know you will be hearing me. But I will call it a day with you. I don't talk to ignorant set of bigotries. The caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. I used to follow, I mean, listen to this guy, this guy in Finland. Uh, and uh, like you said in your program, when I started hearing what the guy is doing, I had to back up because anyone that knows, that really knows what he's 
It is not necessary. It is not necessary for now because all these people are moles. We know. You know, they are moles. Serious one. followers are behaving you know the way his followers are behaving <laughs> to show you that what they are learning from him is how to how to maneuver things they cannot even have a simple conversation or answer a simple question you know what is what is wrong with this question i asked this young man that that just called you know very simple question for him to answer me he insisted I'm, I should answer his own first, which I answered. Now, for him to answer my question, he starts beating around the bush because they don't know what to say at all. Yeah. Yes. Those, you can see the the, 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 the the mentality of the people who are believing him are they normal? Their engagement do they sound normal to you? Oh my god. When I saw, saw this guy dancing on the on the screen, I don't know if he does 
Bringing Mazen Namdekano out is, 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 you know, it is his, like, um, you know, it is a bad business for him. Yeah, it is bad for his business. Yeah. Of course. On one of you want to get out of here, and he's in the sea. Thank you very much. As an owner, we want to get out of here, and say that is the way it is, and that is the way it is going to be. Um, the caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Hello. Yes. Hello, this is James. I'm calling from New York. Go ahead, James. Yes. Exactly. You know, at times, all these people, they are just there causing this havoc. confusion. Yes. This confusion everywhere, which is not right. First of all, you release the person. Then when the person comes out, you will explain what happened. Exactly. Hmm. But they keep on clamoring that go and get the, hmm. the people that cause. Okay, if they present this, the people, now what would they do? Will they even believe it? I don't know why I don't even know why they are reasoning like a cow. <laughs> I don't even know why. Because what you ask that sound, second to the point of that, as I said, if they uh, if they brought that two brothers sit down in a beer palace and someone came to poison the drink, and the second brother holds the antidote, is it not to administer the antidote to that? Brother, for his brother to regain himself before chasing the person that poisoned him. So I'm carrying the antidote wrong to carry the person that poisoned him, but before you come back, the brother will die. It's not that right. Yeah. Of course, you rescue your brother first. So I don't know. A lot of confusion everywhere. A lot of confusion. No, these people, they have nothing to offer. Is with it, he is not in charge of ESN. He has no uh, business. And since I've been following his platform, I've not seen him conduct either uh, uh, protests in Finland. I've not seen anybody, anything like him, holding flag or holding crusade or meeting um, delegates on how to free Martin and the camp. Nothing. He will keep on sitting down there. He talk, analyze, talk, 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 talk. But he's not going through. I don't know why people are not asking for questions. No, those people, their brain is not complete. They are. They don't have spirit. Diplomatic me. He uses their juju. That juju man, when they say they kill a child, you know, do you do you know the meaning of killing a child to do juju? So. Now that juju where hold all these people where no get spirit. Now the juju they disturb them. It take away their brain. So you know when you see them, pity them. They don't know what they are doing. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Well. So, um, 
Odugo ko ya ade. Odila ko ya oga ade. Um, did anybody uh, recognize me? Okay, okay, two will be after. Hmm. Let me see who is calling. Somebody says you should bring him in. They've been calling. Who is this person? Let me try to see if I can bring you in. You've been calling it. And then probably he will be our last caller. I see you've been calling for the program, the caller, and uh, I saw your message now. So are you still willing to talk on the program? Uh, please, the whole world is listening. Please go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Uh, please uh, be audible. Be audible. I, I think uh, your, your voice is not coming out clear. Are you there? Yeah, loud and clear now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, like I said, my name is Wada. We are calling from the Netherlands. And uh, thank you very much for the good job you are doing. Mazi, good morning. I've been following you uh, for some time now. And you know, I've just taken precaution. Because you know what they do is, you know, a lot of what is a very mad, they will come because they know how much we love Biafra and the Biafra cause. So they will come use the name of the Afra, just like the Perimet Finland did, you know. So when I first saw you, I have to really first and foremost, you know, watch out before. But I can see, I can, I can, I can really see your stand, and I can, I can see that you are, you are a guy who resources. Even though you, are, I'm, I'm even surprised to hear that you, you, you've not been, you've not been a, a, our leader's a follower. That is just join the join the struggle. I mean, from the way you raise it, anyway. So that uh, uh, I have been I have been his happen. follower. I have been his follower, but I have not. I, I haven't. I was not a, in a media warrior of Biafra. I was African decolonization activist. I was the, based on that was my work in the media. Listening, you know, because uh, you know why, why I said that. I said that to say this, you know, because a lot of people who, who, who claim that they followed our leader for many years, you know, I see a lot of them go astray. You hear some of them say they are confused. You hear some of them say they don't know who to follow. You hear some of them believing, believing things that do not exist, you know. So, like the topic today, I was, uh, I, I, I followed your program today, and I saw women. Uh, the the anal uh, analysis you made about the, the audio tape, because you will always come with audio tape. He never bring anybody on his platform face to face, one on one. Mm. You will always come with manipulated audio, audio tapes. You understand? Yes. And you will see this gullible, for, this gullible followers of his, you know, parading the audio. They, they never ask him one day, please, these people that are bringing these audio tapes, why can't they come one on one? Just like we saw on the Kenga who said, Program this morning earlier today with the consul's mm -hmm. little brother. Yes, with the consul's little brother. No, 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 one of them will ask him such question. You see, anybody up to this moment that is still following that Ghana, I'm telling you, you see, uh, you know, uh, a lot of damages was done in our land. A lot of damages was done in our land after the war. After the war, I'm sorry to say this. I'm a woman. It's true. Say, it's true. Our, our, our women were brutally raped, and a lot of Americans were given birth in, in, our, in our land. That's how it is. It's true. And you see, I, I love this. I love this. I love this kind of our struggle because without what happened, we wouldn't have known. You know, I was arrested our people. You know, they will, they will, they will always say that Igbo people are very, very intelligent. I yes. was yes. some of those who we, we were running with. You understand? Yes. So I also love this, this tempo. I love what is really happening now. So just like Mazi said in one of his updates through uh, our Elba Rosa, uh, 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 
you know, we have to select the child out from the weed. Yeah. We have to select, we have to select them out from the Okay, now let me just see the point before I let you go. It has been a long program that I've been watching for some time now. You hear what the Perima, the Perima, the Perima, the Perima, the Perima said? He calls for children who kill the council, just like one of our brothers said, which means our leader was also among those who killed the council. Yes. You understand? Because our leader was there. Okay. <laughs> you know, this is the same thing he did. Fighting, but we were saying that Bruce Fair, Bruce Fair, when he was fighting Bruce Fair, he said that. Uh, they, 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 they claim they are paying uh, uh, five thousand every, every 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 month. That they are criminals. This is something that it was our leader who repeated to us how much they were paying, how much they were, he was paying. Even that made Nigerian government, like Muhammad, which everybody saw, came out crying. Yeah, how much we were paying to lobby people. Mm. This man came on his platform and called our leader a criminal, and these people are still following him. People are still following him. People are still following him. You see somebody who put himself, I don't know what they are, I don't know, he's not a leader, but you see somebody who knows some goliathos are following him, who come on his platform and will be called, asking her, eh, 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 why do you, is he, 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 how much he was saying in that this thing? Mm. And this thing, Kanonta, Kanonta, Kano and Taibo went to consult Oracle. Now he's trying to tell people that our, our leaders, uh, uh, siblings, are uh, going to Oracle. They go to native doctor. Mm. You understand? No, they don't. They don't. What is trying to tell you? Do you know how much our leader hates 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 such things? <laughs> but man, it's trying to tell people that our. If you go to the comment section, I was asking, can somebody ask him how he get to know that our leader siblings go to consult oracles? Because he said, these massive doctors you go to, those oracles you go to, how did you have ask them to consult? No, he is. Well, are you there? He has, he has sponsors. He has sponsors. Yeah, he, he is does. not just ordinary criminal. That guy is worse than Ifa now. That guy came to destroy. He came, that guy was contacted after the Burimabi was disgraced in Germany. Mm. Many people are not aware of that. That's the problem. Are you there? You're breaking up. You are breaking up. I, yeah, um, you are. I'm hearing you now. Um, but you, we missed. We we missed uh, your your words. Maybe a second ago. Please repeat. Yes, yes. Yes. 
And later now, you will not find that through your questions, you will not find that there is an autopilot who has been raising funds for someone ever. Mm. If you want the DO to bring ESF to come and fight the kidnappers in law, you know, I don't, I don't understand it. Do you know that none of them would ask him to ask this, this agent of darkness, the Lucifer himself, ask him, where is this ESF that we've been contributing money for you? Where is this ESF? Exactly. What have you done? What have you, what, where, where are they operating? Why is it that we have not seen one update from you? One, you mean, this is one year that you've been raising one for ESL. Why is it that we have not seen one picture, one video where the ESL you, you, see, you, you, you are raising from for uh, chasing full of men are, are, are away from our bush or guiding our, 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 guiding our forest? None of them will call. They will call. They will always call our platform to start yapping like the one that said he lives in Germany. <laughs> I am so. Ma, that man that comes from Germany, if you listen to me, you are a disgrace. A serious one. I am a disgrace. <laughs> you are a disgrace to call and say that DOS. So, 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 even if, even if, even if the DOS has found out what happened to Martin and the Carlo, they should call on social media and make it open. Because so people, the reason know. why they are looking <laughs> for this thing. <laughs> The reason why they are looking for this thing is to for them to know how to the, the information that we have. <laughs> that is exactly what they are looking for. You find out all these agents calling for to know how far is the information we got. So that they you know when people are curious to know their crime, you know. <laughs> Imagine. Are you reasoning with your Amish, Mr. Man? Are you claiming <laughs> you live in the Western world? Are you reasoning with your Amish? Or you are reasoning with your brain? I don't understand. I don't understand. You ask him, you ask him, if you are walking with your father on the street and anonymous come to stab your father on the chest, who will you first go and save your father's life or you start chasing anonymous? He couldn't answer it. You know, they, don't, they can't answer questions. They don't. Seriously. They should be ashamed of themselves. Very, very ashamed of themselves. So my brother, just like I said, this guy is not just crime, a common criminal. This guy is a gent of darkness he who is. has come to destroy. But we must we must stop him. We are going to we weed him out. Him. We must stop him. You see the you see the audio he played? You see the movie when he printed that audio. Mm. Exactly. Because he knows that he, he knows that it is fools that are listening. So he they, he will override it. <laughs> you know. Than every other if enemy. I see these people, I will first of all kill them before I will kill the Fulanese. Definitely. Because Telling me nonsense. <laughs> it's an agent of darkness that we must we must put we must put we are keeping records for him. No, we I, are. I, I, It does you don't not. know what it's doing. You don't know what it's doing. So my sister, round up. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. All yeah. right. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Hi. Um, we're going to take the last call. The last call. This call is from, okay, somewhere there. in The caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Is Nobody, sir. 
Quran for me to live. Please go ahead. Um, thank you for, I'm happy to reach you today. And uh, um, thank you for your work. I'll be listening this first time to, to call you. Uh, concern about the autopilot guys calling this event, talking about nonsense. When you ask them question, they start running, up, running around. They don't know what to say. The same thing with the own master, family, right? but he you know, was driven every day, every day by day, you know, the seven people. It's almost one year today. So it's when they captured Namdi. In today, he just running up and down. Every day, raising money. Every time, raising money. So he's supporting the award to the USA or whatever. Still, what is USA is talking about? USA, what everybody knows, is IP, EOB, and Namdi Kano. This guy jumped because of the cap because of whom he was in the hand of the hand of uh, DSS, DSS today. This guy was talking up and down, deceiving people, causing crisis in the in the in the graph deceiving these people, including the fools who used to listen to him every day by the talking bullshit. Nobody knew this guy, he just jumped from nowhere, just for jump outside within the talk, preaching bullshit. Was listening to him. Serious one. I don't, our people, 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 and you saw that this is not everyone who speaks our language that is our people. Our sister, but how I get under full animal window, but I'm wearing on Omoa in die, Papa. Serious one. Because they like where somebody is making noise instead of taking action. They like noise. Somebody will be on the media telling you, I will buy a jet. We are going to war. That's what they want to listen to. Instead of. <laughs> No, these people are not following his body language or his facial expression. They are not following him because they, there is nothing on his on, on their brain. All they want to hear from him and they will get full is that I will bring a war to Nigeria. We are buying a jet. All I need is ten thousand dollars. And they are not paying, you know, they are not paying, you know, but they will follow him to sabotage. <laughs> At all. They don't have gum shots. <laughs> it's a pity. Thank you very much. We will. You see? Um, so, great beer friends all over the world. Who is this person now? Who is this person now? Yes. They call Kalila Kali. They call Kalila Kali, and I wish to give 
so many of you guys time. I wish to give you guys time, but um, you know, if, the, if there is anybody who want to call, the next person that will call will be the last one. If there is, the next person that will call now will be the last one. Um, otherwise, we are calling it a day. So, um, we are going to call it a day, and uh, somebody was trying to join, but I didn't see that person. Uh, please, uh, we are going to call it a day. We are going to call it a day until we meet again, until we meet again. You know, I know there are so many um, fools that are in the comment section. They are on YouTube, the writing rubbish. You know, if you're on the comment section writing rubbish, of course, Fulani is your, you know, you must, you should go and ask your father who is your, your mother, who is your father. Because it is only your mother that will tell you who fathered your father or who fathered you rather. Because now when we talk about all this shenanigan going on, you will understand that our people, in fact, those people that we are, that join us to call our people, you know, I believe that they are not our people. There is something fundamentally wrong with them. If they are our people indeed. But I believe it is they are fathered by Fulani. That is the reason why they cannot reason. Because uh, any Biafran, any Biafran, any reasonable Biafran, Malanyan and Enena Kalalala. That is why somebody, somebody will come to tell you. Hold on. Um, we have a caller, the last caller, the last caller. The caller on the line, your name and where you calling from, please. Okay. Good evening, my brother. Man. Good evening. My name is uh, Maz, uh, Lucky Okechoko Biafra. Please go ahead, Lucky. Yeah, I'm calling from Germany. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't have much to say, but I, you know, I normally like to speak my wonderful heavenly language, Igbo. So when the uh, Ekele here, this autopilot. we all know that. is that. Therefore, they are not a member of IPUB. So we put an we see your your time on there. You got a really good job because mm. you a member of IPOB? I said yes. Can you provide the receipt of one year? When Mazina the Kano was around, and after Mazina the Kano kidnapping, can you provide receipt of one year for Eastern Security Network and one year for IPUB multi-use? They are free they will run away from your program. They will never call in. I am a ha. So you give me the chance to can you go to the last That's the only thing I am a hand to program on the market. I am a piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing you go on. Yeah, I got a major, which is European Parliament, last month, right? Yes, two months yeah, ago. Demonstration. I 
this woman, the woman said, Oh no, Jamie, I've been in your video many times. A man, this woman actually forced herself. Go by a man, a sabon, the gorgeous sabon, I do be me. And give on a give on a sabon with the Mabunus of Boya and a deep old eyes should be put in the money. Is in a way to way to there is something you say is in on a criticize the DOS or they criticize autopilot. Oh, but all was autopilot. Yes, They are venomous. They are. Their venom is very, very evil. But my problem is that why they are not accepting that they are autopilots. <laughs> they can never accept that. 
They can never accept that they are autopilot, too, but you can see they are, they are promoting autopilot. That is how deceitful they are. They are very, very deceitful. Martin, Martin, do you know that? Do you know that this autopilot, based on information, one guy in the last time, he said that all Yes, yes, yes. What you are saying is correct. Because I um, I have seen there is another one that is, um, you know, you know, some of them, they don't show their face. Some of them, they are wearing masks. There is some of them that are wearing masks. If you, if you, if you go to their program, the, to their real group, um, the real profile, you will find them promoting yes. P2B. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know one of them. I know one of them. And he's wearing masks. He's wearing masks. I will unveil him one day. Real equancy. Yes. There are a lot of them. Yeah, there is a lot. There are a lot of them. How do they everywhere? I wonder. I'm 
Abi and I say, eh, oh, you keep for two months. Now, I see what I want. My brother, he has been on our platform. No, I have been on our platform. No, I see lucky to chop up the Afra. No, I have been on our When eight months in and the Kano will lose his family, his mother and his brother and his, and his father. Lose your cousin. Lose your wife. I will lose your cousin and all the gallant men. When I show me my wife, I will show you my family. I will go to the other meeting. You know, an IPO between C, a chicken up on Mars in the Cano. Tell me the city they have a type of IPOB. It's better you don't call because they are not going to give it to you. Exactly. You can't have a monkey to walk by the shop. Look at the payment plan. Is it a member of IPOB? The answer is no. It's not a member. And the Congo, 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 the Yes, okay. And that blood that flows in their father's vein, flows in their vein. The yeah. blood of the trailer. Yes. That's the name of the man, the Kankorago. I took power to my meeting on Zuzo. He didn't have a meeting. That's his last year before we went to Bejo. He won't be there in a meeting. He won't be there in a meeting. What's the man? He won't be there in a meeting. That to round up, Simon Eba is just there to delay our freedom. He, you will, you know, you want those fools to believe that he's doing something towards restoration of Biafra, while he is not doing anything. Every time he will tell you he is doing, do it, so that they will be believing in him. And at the end of the day, he is not doing anything. He is just taking their money and uh, putting it in, in their in his pocket, buying himself a good car, and that uh, you know. These things now, the mad because none of them put on social media. The people now lose your who is not talking. He is now coming out with his mouth to take their glory. That is exactly what he is doing. And at the end of the day, you ask yourself: these fools who is believe who are believing him that he's doing something. Where is his lawyer to release Mazen Nandekano? What has he done? Where, where, where has he gone to get us Biafra? Where is the alliances that he has made to get us Biafra? Just like if I had played this movie, video that I was playing, you would say where he said he would declare a war in Biafra land. How am I on him? <laughs> you know, I said to myself, this is exactly tomorrow now you will hear fundraising. <laughs> because I get the fundraising where declare the war. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Great dear friends all over the world. We are bringing this program to an end. I have spent more than four hours here. It is, it's been a while. I didn't expect to do so. But the flow. And we are going to meet again. But until then... Stay safe, stay informed. Don't be moved by the criminality of all these people. What they do is they will continue to tell you the same thing every day. Don't forget, he gave you on the 15th of August. When is 15th? Let me see. Today is 14. Tomorrow is 15. Don't forget, Berima gave you 15th of August. That's in Obanjega, Baba. That 15th of August that are one jagger baba and don't make sure you don't forget it 
15th of August is tomorrow. Let's see what he said he is going to do. Because he gave you 15th of August to know if you will pay $10,000. And of course, if you pay. So now you need to ask him what is going on. 15th of August is tomorrow. Now let's wait for tomorrow and see what is going to happen. 15th of August. Just like he will always tell you, he will declare war. That is the way he will continue to tell you. Wait for tomorrow and see if anything happens. He said that in order to use it to siphon your money. Are you paying attention? Do you hear me? That was the reason why he said what he said. But of course, if you are myopic, if you are blind, if you are a fool, you will not understand the handwriting on the wall. But until we meet again, stay safe, stay informed. Bye for now.